Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome to Graveyard Keeper. I think we're nearing the end of this. However, I don't exactly know how close we are. I have a singular goal in mind, and that singular goal in mind is to make a beautiful graveyard. One fit for the corpse of a king. Dare I say, the corpses and cadavers of queens and other forms of nobility and royalty. I think we have, we're like a sixth of the, a, th a sixth, we're a third of the way to, uh, through all the items that we need for like the end game portal thing opening up. If there's DLC that I can access, I don't exactly know how to access it yet, but if I stumble onto it, then I guess, I, I think we'll probably continue that in another playthrough. I don't really know. The world is quite literally the oyster with which we are cracking open and s slurping out of i don't know I don't, the world's your oyster like there's a pearl in there but like people eat that stuff and they eat it cold and raw like i don't know if that's a positive saying anyway i think too much uh i often do but so the best way it seems to get our graveyard up to this the the level of snuff that we want it to be is to build a bunch of like marble statues and whatnot and columbariums and like other upgrades that I, I don't I don't know. There's there's so many different ways that we can make our graveyard look good, and it's not just fences and tombstones, although most of it is. I also can't remember from last time whether or not okay, there was another mission that I needed to do, and it's writing a silver star book. That's another thing that I need to do need to do. And for that, I need to get more stories, I believe. I, I don't remember what it was that I was missing there. But I'm gonna go back and check that. Cause like before before stream started today, I was like, what the heck was I doing a couple weeks ago? I don't remember what it was. Uh, anyway, I don't really know about that. Also, by the way, to the people who are listening in the crowd, I have a genuine honest question for you. I adjusted my audio settings the other day because I was playing a very, very quiet game, so I pushed things up a bit. And when I was listening to the playback, it seemed okay. So, honest question, does, does the music too loud? Am I too loud? Is anything too loud around here? Because honestly, I find it very, very hard to tell during some of the, uh, th I could probably be better about it, but if you have any thoughts on it, please feel free to let me know. And if not, then I think we're good to go. So, I'll take your silence as approval. In any case, uh, I need to make a silver book. And so, in order to make a silver book, I need some silver stories, like really, really good stories and silver chapters. And I don't have a lot of silver stories and whatnot left over. So, I need more, I need more of those. To make a silver star book, I need s apparently a silver star chapter. Uh, actually, dare I say, a gold star chapter, just to get like 100% of the that? Let's see, if I have better hardcovers, I could use, if I have better hardcovers, that would make things better for me. So how do you make better hardcovers? Actually, let's check on that. How does one make a hardcover? Can I make good hardcovers? How does one do a good hardcover? I must know. I'm at the wrong table. I need to go over to this table. In the meantime, I've got my writer up here, um, Hamlet or something, who's writing chapters or stories or whatever. So I can. There's a random chance that we'll get something good. That'll continue at least a little bit. Y'all need to shush up over there. Shh. People of Philadelphia. You know, the next apartment that Anna and I are looking at is at least two streets away from the main street. So it might actually not be as loud as it was previously. Although I have no idea what the denizens at that apartment are like. Perhaps there are people who loudly engage in sexual activities around in other rooms. I don't really know. I have no way of knowing until I move in, I suppose. But we'll see. To make a, uh, make a better hardcover, to make the best hardcover of all, I actually need to take hardcovers of lower levels and put them up here. So if I combine a gold star hardcover and a silver star book, I have a 100% chance of getting a silver star chapter. I have a 100% chance of getting the silver star book. So I'm gonna try to go with that. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I can make gold jewelry details. I can make steel. I can make a tanning agent. I think I can also buy a tanning agent too. Actually, I may have to buy the tanning agent. I don't think I have enough for that, but that, that should be easy to do. I have a hard cover. I have a soft cover, so I can turn things into the things that I want it to do. I'm gonna go upstairs, grab some steel parts. I'm gonna see how many more gold details I can make, if I can make any. And now come to think of it, I may not be able to make any because I'm pretty sure I used all of my gold to make jewelry to become an aristocrat. So I might not actually have any material to make gold jewelry details, in which case, I think we're going mining. I suppose. That's the that's the way to get it, I, I think. Right? Do I have how to make gold jewelry details? 
how to make... I need gold bars. And I don't have no gold bars. So that's unfortunate. So if I need two gold jewelry details, I need two pieces of gold and two pieces of steel parts. So if I pull out one, two, three, four pieces of steel parts, I should be okay there. I also have these carved pieces of marble. Don't know what to do with that. Uh, yeah, wow, I need silver nuggets. I need more gold. I didn't save any of my gold. That's so sad. Oh my goodness. What else do I need to do? Help the merchant attend a big ceremony. Reach to under the graveyard. Help Miss Charm save Wagner from the Northern Fort. Don't know how I'm supposed to help with that. Oh, no, no, I need the book, the astrologer, to help the charm person, Wagner. Wagner, Wagner. It says Wagner. Wait, but I thought your name was Wagner. I've actually been calling him Wagner this whole time. I don't know. I'm a little dense sometimes. Sometimes I forget things. But that's all right. You need gold. Do I have any gold nuggets downstairs? I feel like I've hoarded gold nuggets. However, but that may not be the case. Otherwise, I just need to go mining. And that's okay. But I thought I may have had some extra nuggets down here for, like, dust. Because I know I've turned gold into gold dust before. And for all I know, I might still have some more down here. So let's... Actually, I can do this. I can check like that. Uh, I have gold powder, but no actual gold ore. So it appears if I want to get the gold for the Gold Star hardcover, then I need to go mining somewhere. I think... Where... Where specifically? I think it says it in... That's where you get the jeweler. But where do you get the mining? Precious metals. Yes. Gathering gold ore. I can gather it somewhere. Scent of gold. Your true miner can find precious metals and ores more often, but it's still a matter of luck and energy. That would probably help me find more gold. So that I'm not like swinging my pickaxe around everywhere trying to get lucky so i need more blue points for that and to get more blue points i can create more marble structures so or i can also go to the uh, uh the astrologer and buy books from him so i can wait till astrology comes by and get some more if i want to i'm leaving goodbye jerry i'm gone forever bye son bye buddy i'm gone now um, oh, and I'm apparently almost gonna grab a piece of wood. Hi there, wooden stick. I don't- you're clogging up my inventory, that's fine. Um, goodbye. Um, yeah, I don't- I don't need that. Got a couple of burial certificates, I can sell those for some quick cash. Oh, what do I need these- what do I use these carved pieces of marble for? I think I use them for tombstones? Or did I use them for the column- I used them for the stone columbarium, I think. But I have extra ones, right? Marble Columbarium. If I had additional heads, I could do more. But I would need more of those pots. And I don't really want to deal with more pots right now. But what else can I use those heads for? Probably, um... Probably stones, right? Headstones? Perchance? Perchance? Give me a headstone? Give me a head start headstone? Right? Headstones for crosses. That's what I use them for. But I also... Do oh, that's what I was doing! I was making the marble crosses. Um, but I needed complex iron parts. That's why I was making iron. I was making iron so I could make complex iron parts, which I have. I can create six of. That's what I was making the iron for. I remember now where I was at last time. Now we're all caught up to speed. And that's a good, good thing. Whoops. Dropped my coaster. The drink that I made previously was horribly unbalanced. I added a little bit of simple syrup to it. It made it a little bit sweeter. Added a little more uh, depth to it. And now it actually tastes pretty good. I'm actually really into that now. That's it's my recipe now. I'm taking that. I'm taking that recipe. It's mine. But I will also obviously give credits to the people who originally gave me the idea at completecocktails.com. HTTP colon slash slash www.completecocktails.com. Hey, buddy, you want to talk to me yet? Oh, that's sad. That makes me very sad. Oh, well. Well, now that I have the complex iron parts... I probably should have gone back up to my stone cutter and made the headstones that I want. No, please, please don't follow me. I don't want it. I don't... I guess I did want some maggots. They allow me to fish. I learned how to fish last time. I forgot about that. I also learned how to fish, which is very exciting. I'm very much into that stuff. All right, I can also use the... Oh, I can use these stone heads also for these marble sculptures, which I also needed faith for, which is why I was trying to craft a better faith prayer last time oh uh, it's all coming together now but with this amount of faith i can make these marble sculpture sculptures i think i want to make oh that's so cool looking i want two angels and one grim reaper that's what i want i wonder how many blue points i get for this a lot 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a significant amount of blue pieces. I love that. All right. Uh, no, not marble plinths. I want marble sculptures. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think they're looking beautiful now. Oh, nice. Now I've got space for all of them, right? Okay, well... Oh, and that's definitely how we get blue points. So I am going to put all my effort into that to try to get more stuff out of things. I'm going to put my iron in the... Um, put the iron... The iron... Put the iron back here so I can pick up one of these gravestones again and figure out where I want to put them gravestone at. I gotta, I gotta figure out which one I want to put it on, to be honest. Um, let's see. How does, how's this body looking? Now that I'm also a cultist, I can see into the bodies, so I can pick which bodies are the bestest bodies in the world. And you are not the coolest body. You add dark hearts. If I take you away, you will basically be nothing. So I want you to keep your dark heart inside of you. This will add, this adds that, takes that. If I take out your blood, that should be better. If I'm correct in saying. Uh, I got beer on me. Yeah, beer's good. Beer's tasty. It gives me energy. All right, that gave you more skulls. That's good. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I do like that. I do like that. That's that's good. Extract the fat. Fat's good to take out. That'll give me uh, a skull back. Uh, do we have any more that will... Uh, no, nothing really. And this takes away a red skull, so if I remove it, it'll add back a red skull. Yeah, this is pretty much as good as this thing will get, unless I have other pieces nearby. Do I have any pieces that would do good things? Let me see if I have any in my collection. Um, a brain! Oh, that's a good-looking brain! Okay, I will give you a better brain. That's what I'll do, okay? That's great. That's a nice-looking body part. Oh, you know, that's what it's all about. What I can do is I can take things like this and I can put them in other bodies and save them. That's an angle that I hadn't yet used yet. Oh, and I can't put a brain in you because you already have a brain. Oh, this is an interesting angle. I have not thought of this yet. That's cool. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like paying attention to it right now. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, and I can oh I can research these things too. That's great. I think this may give me all the blue points that I need to be able to to uh, do some better mining. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. How much do I need for it? A little bit. Oh, I need much more faith than I currently have. That's that's where the problem is. Need more faith because I really don't have that much. Unless do I have some over here or did I use it? All? I used it all. Oh, I've been stockpiling with faith for so long, and now I have none of it. All right. That's okay. Okay, well, I am definitely making more of these marble statues. So what I'll do is, if I can utilize them properly, I will put them in the graveyard. Uh, if not, I'll just keep them downstairs. That'll be, that'll be fine. All right, who's, whose body is ripe for... Good. Uh, you can only gain three more, so you're not really good at that. What about these dudes up here? How about y'all dudes over here? You're giving me minuses. You can get upwards of four. I can give you a plus five and you'll be at maximum. Not really useful. Plus five will be at maximum. Uh, you are good for six. These things get seven. Can I do any better than that? You're fine. You have four. If I take you away, you'll have five... There's some mathematics going on here. I like mathematics. Mathematics are cool. I don't really have that many good bodies, to be perfectly honest. It would be a waste on the body up there if I put one of the big guys. Hmm. Not you. You've only got two. You have a total of seven. So this is a perfect place to put one of these sculptures. Because that will get you to your maximum. It can't get any higher than that. That's perfect. If I were to maximize all of these things... I feel like we'd be in a good spot. Actually, it looks quite nice. What a, what a pretty angel. What a pretiful angel. Do I have any more headstones around here? You only give two. You don't have a fence. Why don't you have a fence? I can put a fence on you, can't I? And not have fences around here? Oh, yo, gold jewelry details. Why the hell are you all the way over here? Oh, the gold jewelry details was to upgrade my church. But I don't need to upgrade the church. I'm going to take this gold jewelry details with me. Pfft. Forget about getting the blue points. I don't need the blue points anymore. I've got my gold jewelry. That's all I need. That's all I need. Nice. Okay.
And plus we got some more iron as well. That's that's fine. Let's not let's not worry about that very much. But if I have the gold jewelry details, then I can go downstairs. I, I have the Oh, but I need faith. And I just used all of my faith. Oh, I gotta wait till next Sunday. Oh <laughs> I can never have enough faith, apparently. That's okay. I can at least get the next level up, right? The next level up of the paper. Uh, oh, I needed a tanning agent. Alright, well... Do I have another... I don't even have <laughs> storage space to put things. Oh my god, I have like no space for anything. I don't need half of this shit. What, what, do, I, what do I need? I have... Uh, I gotta beat these guys downstairs. I gotta lead these guys downstairs. Oh, can I build another chest what would i need to build another chest do i have the proper materials to build another one please please can i not build any more chest wait i thought i could no I can build more bookshelves and stuff that's not very helpful to me right now that's that's so annoying okay i i'm gonna put these in the one chest that I know that has space, and it's the one that's supposed to keep all the wine. Because I haven't been making a lot of wine recently. Although I do have all this wine, so let me... I'll put you in there, I'll put you in there, put the gold jewelry details in there, I'll put... I don't... I, I wanted to put the rest of my faith in there, but that's okay. I'll put those in there, put those in there. Put that in there. Uh, that's a book. That's cool, I guess. You can go in there, too. I'll take my waystone back. And I'll take all this wine. Because it's merchant day. And I can sell that. So I'll go sell that right now. Get, get some more monies. I need more monies for things. If I have more monies, I can buy things. I can buy from the witch claw, though, to buy the tanning agent. Because I know she sells me the tanning agent. Take the salty fork. I cannot. Here, here's a bunch of wine. Put all the wine in there. It doesn't give me a lot. However, it does give me a bit of silver. And silver, silver's powerful. That's cool with me. All right, I will peace out from you, dog, and I will go back home so I can see if I can catch the witch before she heads in for the evening to get the tanning agent to make a better book, to make the bestest book, so that I can make this silly man who worships the moon in science to help out his daughter or something. Oh my goodness. I just got a piece of, I just got a leaf, a mint leaf in my mouth and actually it tasted amazing that was a very good flavor combo i like that i love mint leaves i'm so glad i have mint i almost the other day because i had to prune menthol man the mint plant that sits on my um on my windowsill i thought that i may have had to get rid of them but i didn't i was able to bring menthol man back to life in the brinks of death I want a tanning agent. Give me a tanning agent. Just one will be fine. Thank you very much. And you know what? While I'm out here, give me a give me an alchemy recipe. Yeah. Give me that. What do I learn? Preservative. Hmm. I learned how to make preservative. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Awesome. Thank you, Claw. Though, and I still have nothing to do with you, right? No, nothing at all. All right. Well, I head back. Sweet home. Take the ingredients for the next version of the book. I need the soft cover. I need faith. I need faith as well, so I'll grab the faith along the way. Not too difficult at all. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Get you some of those. Do a little bit of crafting. Better book. Better books. Better stories. Papa John's? Maybe? Alright, well now I have that. Got a little, a couple of boot points for it too. That's good. The next thing that I need is I need more faith, and steel parts, and the gold jewelry details. All I need is literally one more. Wait a minute. If there's somebody in the confessional, I can get more faith right now. Of course, there's nobody in the confessional. Ah, uh, why can't people confess their sins more often? It's fine. I'm gonna go back to the sweet home, take a rest for the evening, and I will make additional I, i'm gonna make additional um marble things whatever actually what i should do is i should do this mathematically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my graveyard and i'm going to make a list of 
all of the like a list of how many more skulls I have left to make a grave at maximum because I have a bunch of bodies in there there's no sense in me trying to figure out the logistics of taking some bodies out and putting them back in just fill the graveyard with bodies that's a surefire way to get shit done so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna write it in my book here to make sure I, ha I can keep track of everything. We're going to do this methodically. We're going to do this formulaically, like an engineer. Because I'm an engineer. At least that's what my degree says that I am. Sorry, I'm going to adjust my chair for a hot second. I realize I'm too low. There we go. That feels, that feels better. I don't know what it is. I built a structure for my camera to sit on top of. I have my height of my chair the same every day, every week. The camera sits in the same spot every day, every week. And for some reason... I continually come back and realize my chair is too low or my chair is too high. Now, I think it's because this chair actually does sink on its own sometimes. I have seen that happen. I really have. And so, that's probably what's going on here. But alas, whatever. Alright, so, you, so I'm gonna have two lists. I wish, I wish two. It'd be cool if I had an easier way to be able to put, like, whiteboards up on stream so I can write things down, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. Eventually, I will. I'm sure. I'm sure that we will someday. But I'm gonna have two columns. I'll describe. I'll describe it. One is for, um, I guess, hmm, I guess I have three categories. One is for, there's no top or bottom. One is just no top. And one is just no bottom. These are places that I can add. These are things that I can add stuff to. Or I'll also add graves that are in those locations that have one, but I can replace it. So this one here, there's no benefit. There's nothing here. This one needs a gravestone. So this one has no top. So it's a two. So I have one two. Great. There's a bunch more with no gravestones. There's another two. I'll have another two down. This one can have five. So that's good gravestone this one can have five as well this one can have six that's good this one can have two more another two we have four all right um this one's got if i take this cross away there's another five i'll, I'll skip these ones for now Let's get those ones for now. This one is a four. This one is a five. And do I have any others with no tops? This one's not go, doesn't have a bottom and it could use a three. Nice. All right, and everybody else looks pretty, pretty chillin'. I wanna see if any of these can be replaced though. You are too much. You have too much. You're not you're not worth being in that grave. You add two. You add you could have two more. I'm just doing a survey. I'm not writing these ones down. You could have two more. You're why are you even in that grave? You're a waste of space. What are you give me this cross? Give me this cross. You don't need this cross. You have no benefit with this cross. I'm gonna go give that to one of the people who need two. Yeah. Like uh like you. You could use two. Here. There's a grave stone. There we go. There's one, two already off the list. Excellent. Making progress. What about you? You're fine. You're you're at maximum already. That, that's great. You're not happy. You are way too much. Give me, give me this. Give me this. You're another two. Put you on one of the other twos. I'll just cross off a two preemptively. You're a two? Here you go. Ta! Here's your gravestone. Man, all right. We're only 91 points away. Swell. Is there anything else that I can craft that might help with this? A wooden pr oh, a wooden prayer station with a bronze star book. I actually have a bronze star book that I'm not currently using. I should totally make one of those. I could put more flower beds down. I could put more lawns down. Honestly, before I go into making a bunch of pillars of stone and whatnot, I think I might just take the cheap wins way out. I'm just gonna better get a bunch of stone and get a bunch of peat. And just make a bunch of lawns. <laughs> I'll just have lawns all over my beautiful graveyard. It's like, look at all these half-assed graves. No, no, no. The lawn's where it's at. This man mows his lawn. I need seven flitches, four nails, and the bronze star book. Let me. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. 
I just clicked the pause menu and saw that there's tutorials. All right, that's, this isn't necessarily as much as I thought it was gonna be. Locations. Interesting. In any case, I thought for a moment that these tutorials were things that I tried to do and couldn't figure out how to do this entire time, but it was staring me right in the face. Uh, it's not, it's more complicated than that. Also too, there's this concept of repairing graves. My graves haven't gone into disrepair, I don't think. I don't think so, unless maybe there's a tutorial on that. Hold on a second. Graves. All human remains have their things. Graves. A corpse gets its stat from its body parts. You can change the corpse's stat. The main way to increase the graves is to decrease the options that have more. Each line that has more than that. Reach that. Cool. Large items. Uh, building? No. Where was the thing that I just saw about the, the graves? No. 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 Locations. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I need that, though. Blueprint desk. Yeah, alright, that that's fine. Or is this a particular tutorial in this area? Oh, wait a minute. Are the tutorials specific to the location? Wait a minute. I gotta try this. Alright, I'm in the crematorium now. No, okay. It's got nothing to do with where I currently am. It just so happened to be at the, we're describing the people who appear at and locations in reference to the graveyard. So that's 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 fine then that's okay i'm gonna go grab a bunch of peat from my garden i'll put some more there while i'm at it yeah i'll go get some more peat let's make a bunch of yards i don't know how big yards are so it's very possible that i don't actually have enough space for all of it oh i'm actually out of crop waste nice cool yeah i don't need my i don't need the whole business of planting stuff anymore i don't i don't need that that's okay I'm beyond that now. If I need money, I will just sell jewelry. I will go into the mines, I will dig up everything, and I will just ravage the earth with pollution from me refining uh, various different types of metals. That's just that's just how I'm going to do things here going forward. I also need stone. I only have two pieces of stone. That's okay. I can always get more if I go to, you guessed it, the quarry. It's the quarry. It's up here. I need stone. Stone? That's marble. May I have a little stone? Stone's nice. Make it a stone. 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 Is this a stone talk? Oh, that's a stone stockpile. Oh! I can add stone and marble to the stone stockpile. I did not know that. Anyway, I need a bunch of stone. I'm just gonna make a bunch of yards. I think that'll work. Um, today is Snake's Day. I don't have any benefit from Snake right now. Um, tomorrow is Upward Facing Day. I don't think the Inquisitor has any new news for me since he found his son, the Snake. Spoiler alert. Um, probably should have said that before now that I think about it. But, in any case. Um, and then the next day of interest to me is gonna be the Astrologer's Day, because I might be able to make, uh, if I, if I find... It's possible. If there's a person in the confessionals, then I should be able to gain enough faith to be able to build the book for the astrologer before moon day comes around so i gotta be vigilant at the church to see if i can get one dude in there who wants to tell me they like murdered a guy or something that's all i need i just need one person to say i murdered somebody that's all so if any of you out there have some confessions to make feel free to drop them in the chat because i currently don't have enough faith in the world in general but with the power of you relinquishing yourself of your sins right here i think i'll be able to have enough faith to be able to build things for my benefit. No, I am not I'm not priestly in any way shape or form. I am not I am not endowed to any sort of confidentiality. So if you share that you're going to kill somebody, I'm going to say that to the police cuz I care for people's lives. However, if that body that you kill needs a place to rest, I do have a nice graveyard. Now that I got on my stone, let's see if we can make things pretty. Pretty, pretty graveyard. Pretty, pretty bodies. I have... Oh, I have a lot of bodies in here. I forgot about that. Oh, hi, everybody. Oh, blood and fat. That's great. Uh, put you on the table. Nope, not that table. 
How about this table? How are you? Eh, you're fine. I'll deal with you later. Your body parts don't go away. But if you're a fresh body with some good skulls and whatnot, that's that's important. You got some nice skulls. Mm, that adds red skulls. That takes away. That's... I could see this being beneficial going forward. I'm going to keep these intestines. And I need more stuff. Can I eat anything? But I have this last beer. That'll be fine. I can see that intestine being of great use to me. Um, this adds flesh. That's a totally positive piece of flesh. That's a totally positive heart. I like that. Let's take that away. You don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah, take it, take it away. Totally positive. Totally great. I have too much shit in my inventory. Unfortunate. Let's put it all in here. That's good. That's not... I don't like these. Uh, that takes away a goodness. Yeah, no, that's fine. Destroy. Destroy. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. I don't. I really don't. This takes away badness, so that's good to have. And that's all that I'm interested in you in. Boop. I'll put your stuff over here. Excellent. Oh, do skulls always do that? Yeah, skulls will always do that. Nice. Awesome. By the way, my apologies if I keep on looking at my phone. I'm going to an event on Friday, and I'm getting notes about what is supposedly happening. Because I don't know where I'm supposed to be, or at what time. However, I did know how much to pay people, so I did that already. So that's already taken care of. It's going to be a great, great time. Does anybody want to confess? Anybody, 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 anybody? Damn it, that's fine. Maybe people come in the morning. Maybe that's what I'm missing here. Um... Yards! Yards Brewery! Yards Brewery! Oh, that's a... Mm, that's 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 a long order. Alright, that's actually pretty tall. Well, I can put... Oh, I can literally put yards in between these graves. Oh, nice. How about over here, too? Oh, nice. Oh, look at all the yard... Oh, this is gonna be... This is perfect! This is literally perfect! I'll put one of you there, uh, uh, put you one of you there, and I'll put one of you over here. This is going to line. Nope, just kidding. That doesn't fit there, but it does fit here, and it does fit up here. How many yards can I build? All the yards? God, if this brings me to the right level, oh, that'd be so perfect. It'd be so awesome. And you know what? Let's put some yard on either side of these graves. Up. There's a yard. That's all the yard I get. We're at 130... Oh, it's so much easier when you use the power of the yards. That's great. I need more stone. So I will go to my, my sweet home. I will sleep for the day, I guess. I will go mine some more stone and build some more yards. Now, it's not going to give me as much yaw, as much skulls, white skulls as I want to. However, it's going to gonna bring us close. If I can take cheap points, I will take cheap points any day. Any day. Like, if I can find an easier way to do something that I'm currently doing, I will do it. That's why I will often make scripts for a lot of the stuff that I do at work, because I find that I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again, and I'm like, I can automate this. Let's make, let's take the extra time to build a bash script and let it run itself. And honestly, it's worked out every single time. And that's the best. I, that's why, like, one of the things that, like, before I even learned how to program, the things that I wanted to learn programming for was to be able to make things easier for myself. Like, if you can tell me that I can spend significantly less effort on something merely by taking a little extra time in the beginning, I'm all for that. Now, oftentimes, I forget that. I am a very dense individual, as I continue to say, and by that I mean I just sometimes miss things that should be perfectly obvious. For example, like, spending more time on something in the beginning to spend less time on it overall. And honestly, that doesn't necessarily mean program a script. It could just mean plan some things out. I have found oftentimes as well that I save myself a significant amount of hassle by just kind of taking a moment to think about what I'm going to do or think about what I plan to do and draw it out in the steps. It takes a little bit more time and it kind of holds me back from like, I'm a bit of like, I've got initiative problems, but I also have like 
initiative problems, so to speak. Well, sometimes I don't have the initiative to the motivation to do things and start things. Although sometimes I have an overwhelming amount of it. So I'm a, I, I go get things. Like I get them, like I march into it really fast without thinking about it. Um, I, there's a word for that. And I don't remember what, I can't bring that word to the forefront of my mind right now. But sometimes I do that and I don't think about things before I start them. And oftentimes I'll kind of hit brick walls and I'm like, ah, I bet if I thought about this, if I thought about this, a little bit more deeply prior, I wouldn't be at this brick wall that I'm currently at. And that happens to me more often than not. I don't necessarily think things through before I start them, and that's something that I'm trying to get past. I'm a young boy of 24, and I'm learning how to exist in this world. Learning, learning, and trying. You are a good intestine. I like your intestines. I will extract this intestines. Thank you for the intestines. Nice intestine. Pretty intestine. Very good intestine. Now, if I can find a body like... This could be this could be good. Hold on. I have an idea. Take this body, put it over here. Take this body, put it over here. Look at that body. Girl, look at that body. <laughs> I work out. Sometimes. I bike to work every day. Except for some days. I did not bike to work today. I thought I was going to be somewhere else. I wasn't. Um, Let's see. Eh, this is something I don't feel like thinking about right now. That's fine. I'm gonna go back to the graveyard and get some more cheap points. I built... If I was at 101, and I'm now at 137, the math would imply that I built six gardens, I believe. I walked right past the graveyard. That's what I get for trying to do math. Oh, I can walk on the gardens, too. That's not... Or the yards. That's, that's nice. The lawns. Excuse me. Oh, and they're tall... Oh, they're long yards. Because I'm spending the most on them. Nice. And if I put them in other locations, I don't necessarily spend the same amount. Well, what about the other lawns? How big is this lawn? Oh, it's a little smaller. It's a little thinner. And this one here is even smaller than that. I can actually put this in front of graves. Nice. Okay, well, this is going to be my not nice looking part over here. It's just going to have a bunch of lawns. There's a lawn. There's a lawn. It's not supposed to be nice. If I were a little more picky on that, perhaps I would be completatory. But I'm not. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's put some lawns in. This is... All right. Let's put you there. And then... Actually, let's just put you all off to the sides. Or we don't have to put one in the middle at all. Now we're at 163. All right. Moving our way up in the world. And there's plenty of other spaces for more lawns. So from lawns and whatnot alone... Increase the graveyard's points by a lot. Now, I have some time before moon day. Anybody confessing? Anybody at all? Come on, guys! Tell me your sins! I guess I'll go to sleep for the night then. Actually, do I have any food over here? Do I have food? I have bread. I can eat bread, right? Oh, yeah, I can eat bread. Give me the bread. Give me the bread. No. No, no, no. Bread. And I'll go to sleep for the night. Oh, Moon Day is next. And on Moon Day, I can't buy faith from the dude. So unless there's somebody giving a confessional, I am not going to be able to give um, the astrologer the book that he needs today. I'll have to wait till next week, unfortunately. Oh, hum diddly dum. If I made one less statue, I would have been where I wanted to be today. Today. Not a week from now. Or somebody will confess their sins, and everything will be okay. And then I won't have to worry about anything. Which would be cool. Confessing... Oh, yeah! And you gave me a story. That is so kind of you, sir. Thank you so much. I need to get... Oh, this is perfect. So I will be able to give the book to the astrologer today. Ah. Good fortune. This is an omen of good fortune today. And that is a wonderful thing. Ah, that's great. Give me those steel parts. Yes, thank you. It's perfect. Oh, do I have the book? I do have the book. Oh, or the cover. It's a cover. It's not even a book. It's literally a book without the guts. That's what it is. But I'm so focused. All right, Silver Star book. Here we go. That's great. Now, hardcover. Gold Star hardcover. Oh, nice. Can I research this thing? I could if I had faith, but I'm literally all out of faith. I have no faith left. All right, well, I'll put my story over here. If I can make 
Okay, well, let's look at the book. To make a Silver Star book now, I just need a Silver Star chapter. I don't have any Silver Star chapters. I can make Silver Star chapters if I use the notes to create Silver Star notes, which I can make two more Silver Star notes. I will have enough for this. Excellent. And then I'll have a Silver Star chapter that I can put in the book for what I need. Silver Star chapter. 90% chance? Well, I, I, I hope that works out. There's a 90% chance after all. I need more food. Uh, bread. Nice. That was a Silver Star chapter. Now we can make a Silver Star book. 100% chance. There's absolutely no way that this could fail. Nice. Also, I think I wanted to be around here for a Bronze Star book for something. I don't remember what... Oh, that was something in the graveyard. But I'm focused on the Astrologer now. So let's go to the lighthouse. Talk to you. Here's your book. Here's what I wrote. Oh, nice title page. Okay. I forget this guy's voice. Come by next week and I'll tell you what happened. What's this guy's voice? I don't remember what the... Oh, come by next week. Next week? Okay, that's that's actually okay, because I was planning on waiting an entire week anyway, so that's all right. What was the astrologer's voice? I don't remember what it was. I'm blanking. I think it was something like this. That's the voice of the astrologer. I don't remember. Honestly, I have a hard time with these things. Give me blue book. Give me book. Give me book. Yeah. Give me book. Use book. Eat book. Research. Become the man who finds the gems. I am the man who finds the gems. I can smell gold. I can smell gold. Now I can smell gold. Okay, well, I will talk to him next week then. If I remember, which hopefully I do. So in the meantime, as we're figuring out, as we're waiting for the astrologer to do his thing, we'll increase the quality of the graveyard. And apparently, the graveyard requires more yards but in addition to more yards it just needs like some gravestones and let's work on some of those i need two that add four uh marble marble cross and to create a marble cross we use some polished thing uh that's that adds no no, no. i want to add four can i add four with one of these stone graves these stone crosses work that that's cool that works stone sculpture oh they're just like the other ones except oh i see nice if I had some polished stone and complex iron parts, but I think, can I create some, oh, uh, no, I need more stone. So I will go up to the quarry, mine some more stone, just as I did before, um, and then, then we shall see. Then we shall see, we shall see, we shall see. I think it's mostly gonna be, well, at this rate, it's just gonna be a bunch of, like, stone stuff, because I don't need to spend all the effort on the marble if I have the stone to be able to make up for it, because stone is so much easier. I mean, marble looks cooler, it's much prettier, and I think it gives me more points. However, this is this is probably fine. This is this is probably okay. I have no energy. You don't have any energy. Alley oop. Uno. All the way back to you. Shuffle. That's the Casper Slide Part Two. It really isn't. It really isn't the Casper Slide Part Two. I don't know much about the Casper Slide Part Two. Was there really? Was there even a Casper Slide Part One? These are the questions that are worth asking. Because I don't know. Let's ask Google. Hey, Google, is there a Casper Slide Part 1? Sorry, I don't understand. Unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I thought Google would be able to at least tell me the answer. I just realized I have Google on all the time, so I can actually constantly talk to it. And Google can hear me, too. Which is pretty awesome. I designed it that way so that so when I got the, these new lights over here, I can actually control them with Google. And if I tell Google to turn off the lights, then Google will actually turn off the lights for me. And then I'll immediately turn them back on because I don't want to do I don't want to interrupt stream, but I will do it anyway. Hey Google, turn the lights off. Okay, turning off three lights. Anyway, and that's that's how you do it. And then I can turn the lights back on at the click of a button. That one I actually had to click the button for. <laughs> it's so awesome. You'd think I would already know how to do this and I would be a lot less enthused because we're literally, we're living in the world of IoT. Like stuff like this happens literally all the time and it shouldn't be that astounding, but I'm <laughs> having so much fun with it. Cause like, cause like I'm the kind of person who like, 
If I don't absolutely need something, I probably won't buy- If I can- if I can't give myself a good enough reason to buy something, I'm probably not going to buy it. And I just- I just didn't give myself enough reason to- to buy things that Google could be able to talk to, or Alexa, or anything like that. I was just like, I'm not- I'm not convinced that this is something that I need in my life. However, there came a time where I was like, yeah, but like, it's cool. I want cool things. And where's my chisel? Did I not collect my chisel? Oh. I no longer have a chisel. That's... Come on. Silver star chisels, but not what I need. Jeez, man. Alright, I'll go back home then. Back to the sweet home. I at least have enough... I need to make myself another chisel, but I at least have enough to make some of the... Col the some of the gravestones. In the meantime, chisel. Ugh, I need more... Simple iron parts. Simplest of iron parts. Get to go chop down some trees. I'll chop down you tree. Tree down? Down. Down down tree. Go down tree. Tree, I'll show you the ground. I'm out of energy? I am not. You're out of energy. I'll show you out of energy. Hacha, I gotcha. I gotcha. Did I get any wooden da- I need more wooden dowels. That's a- that's- that's a thing that needs to happen. Give me another one. Thank you for another dowel. I appreciate- it's a stick. I don't- it, I know it's a stick, but I keep calling it a dowel. Just let me believe. Let me believe in something. I believe that they are dowels. Those sticks remind me of the actual dowels that I have on my desk, which I have been interrupted in showing because I ran out of energy. This is the wooden dowel I have on my desk. I imagine the sticks look like this. So that's- that's the- that's the reality that I choose to believe in. In any case, let me make this... Oh, I need complex iron parts, and I don't currently have those. Let's make some complex iron parts. The parts that are iron and complex. And that bread actually doesn't give me a lot of energy, so it's not really cool. I don't need this wooden stick anymore. Give me the parts. Give me, give me, give me the parts. So I make one of the stone crosses. I need to make... I need a level four. So all I need is the complex iron parts and these shaved pieces of rock. That That's fine. So now I got one of those. Awesome. I can put the complex iron part away. Put that away. Put that away. I can put the polished bricks of marble in there. The pieces of marble in there. That's just fine and dandy. I think I can use some of the pieces of marble to create these marble fences. Marble fence two. If I had more complex iron parts, I could make a five here, which I plan to. So actually, I'm going to make more complex iron parts because I could definitely use three of those, um, those, uh, marble tombstones. I could use three of those because that's what I have on my list. I have three of them and that will gain me 15 points or maybe not 15, but somewhere at or below 15 points with that, with that marble, with this marble cross. And I will create three of them and I also need more food. So I will consume more food, realizing that... I could definitely have made that bread into something better. But this is what I have. This is what we get. This is what we're going to go with. Also, it's Lord's Day. So it's time to go worship God or something. I don't know. What do you believe in? What is it that you believe in in this world? Feng Shui? Maybe karma? Perhaps you believe in the ability for us to channel through our bodies spirits that live in other dimensions? Higher dimensional beings? Because if that's your thing... I'm curious. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, Bishop, what are you doing? Oh, you're hanging around my... What a mass... What a masterpiece. Interesting. Cutscene time. Truly astonishing craftsmanship. Your Holiness. Ah, it's you. I was just looking around. You know some of these statues aren't half bad. Can you make a statue? Can you make statue of me? For your grave? Are you dying, your holiness? No, I'm in perfect health. It's just to help me spread my holy aura. Oh wait, I've got a brilliant idea. I need three statues, one for my office. Make that one a bit taller and looking like I'm thinking about something important. The second one is for the soup kitchen. That one I'm sure look like I care, but I'm also thinking about something important. I'll try. And the third one, we'll put right here in front of the church. Make that one look like I'm cool. 
and welcoming everybody. This task is of utmost importance. Put it topmost on your to-do list. Without these statues, we can't upgrade this big church into a cathedral. All right. Make three marble statues of gold star quality. Okay. I didn't know that at all. Wow. Awesome. Now I know that. Excellent. Thank you, your holiness. Uh, all right. We're also going to hold a beautiful mass in your honor. Maybe. You give five. That's fine. You go in the grave. I am running out of energy. That's okay. You needed five as well. Yeah. Excuse me. You need six. You need two. Do you have anything worth two? I do not. You need four. You are worth four. And you are four. You are five. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So I'll cross three fives and a four off my list. Five, five, four, five. And apparently, I'm making busts for the buddy. Busts for the, uh, the bishop. Excellent. But first, more faith. Give me faith. Faith. Stars. Can't walk through that way, apparently. That's weird. All right, everybody. Come to church. Church time is now, everybody. I'd like to say a few words, everybody in my church congregation. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Y'all are fruits out there. Y'all are beautiful, beautiful fruits. You can be a banana. You can be a cantaloupe. You can be a strawberry if you want to. <laughs> Thank you very much. So if you didn't already catch, Elvis is my pastor. I brought him back from the dead. He's a zombie. <laughs> That's how it works. I can zombify people. Thank you for your donations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great sermon. Absolutely great sermon. Get out of my church. Oh, didn't mean to do that again. If you button mashed, you can see what your PC specs are. It's quite, quite nice. More faith. Do I need more faith? I will need more faith to be able to create more statues. Actually, this might be the perfect amount of faith for those statues. So this could be good. This could be really good. All right, put you, put your starry away. Oh, no, no, no. The stories don't go here. Starries go down here. Here's your starry. Thank you for the starry. Now... I will see what I need to create these gold star statues. Actually, I think I, I I know what I need. I need a gold star chisel. I need to create a gold star chisel. That's what it's for. It's literally just for this. And I have an extra silver star chisel, so that shouldn't be that difficult for me. Some more of those. Gold star chisel. If I use a silver star chisel, there is a 70% chance that I will get a gold star chisel. So let's give it a shot. I'm out of energy. I'm gonna go sleep. Actually, wait. First, I want to see what I need for the gold star. Can I get this today? If I can get this today, then that's great. Carved piece of marble. All right, I can literally get this today. If I do it right. If I'm lucky, I can get this today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat my carrots to be able to give myself enough energy to hopefully get this. I got the gold star chisel. Now, I'm gonna make three of these gold star heads. Maybe, I might be able to do it. All right, that's one gold star. Awesome, I'm gonna eat more carrots. This might, this might luck out. This might be great. Oh, I have an 80% chance now. That was more than before. Okay, that one was silver star, which means I don't have enough faith for the other one. So it didn't actually work out today. That's okay, I have at least three of them. All right, that, that's okay. I have another Silver Star bust. That's fine. Unless I can miraculously get more fit. No, I'm gonna have to wait till next Sunday. But I definitely will be able to get it next Sunday. So, great. Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. It's a Sunday. I will bring... Uh, I need to make more uh, things for the graveyard anyway. So, that's what I'll go with. I need, to, I need to do some crafting over there. So, I'll make... I need a two, a six, and a four. And I also need a three-level um, fence, so I can do that as well. And now that I'm all rested, it's it's going great. It's going great. I'll get five points for the 200, which is probably... That's probably one of the blocking points to getting the big cathedral. And I need to get to the big cathedral for... I, I don't know. Probably. I probably need to get to the big, big cathedral. That's just something I'm just making an assumption of. I have more energy. Is this a gold star? 
It is a gold star, which is great. I only need one more. That's excellent. Okay, I also require tombstones. What kind of stones? Get a three a three gravestone fence. That's a grave. Uh, the gravestone. I can make a polished brick of stone. Just one. I only need one here. To give myself a nice headstone. Here, I need three. Oh, for the grave fence. It's not a headstone in this case. I was just speaking out loud. Thinking out loud. Speaking out loud. That's a three. I need a six, a four, and a two. A two I can make with this gravestone. Looks pretty cool. Like that. Cute little gravestone. That's helpful. I need a six, which uh, I can do a four from one of these plinths, this stone cross here. I need three things of polished stone, so I can make three of those. Polished thing of stone. Did not mean to do that. Didn't want to do that. That's fine. Uh, another one, please. Can I have another? Nope. That's fine. Excellent. I need three. Get that back. One, two, three. And I need some complex iron parts, which means I need some more of the iron. So I'll make some more of those. Easy. Complex iron. Make some simple iron parts. Nice and quickly. Nice and efficiently. Not enough. That's fine. I don't have food to counteract that. Oh, but I can harvest things from my, from my garden. I guess. I can eat onions, can I? I can eat whole pumpkins, right? Probably. I don't have enough energy. Right. Well, you gotta make money. You gotta make money to make money. <laughs> that's what you that's what you did. You gotta make money to make money. So I'm gonna spend my money to make money. There we go. That's exactly what I meant. Totally what I meant. And now I have no space in my inventory, because I'm Oh, just have too much stuff. Too much stuff in there. I could put the peat back, because I'm not I don't need to make any more yards. I think I have enough yard. Which means I can collect the seeds. I'm most interested in the seeds, so I can plant the seeds, plant the seeds, plant the seeds, plant the seeds. Then I can get the crop waste. Crop waste, crop waste, crop waste. Then... Uh, I'd rather eat the pumpkins and stuff as I, if I can help it, but... That's fine. That's, that's okay for now. What other foods can I make? I know I've been catching fish. Fish is good. I meant to make more simple iron parts. And now I need complex iron parts. I should see what else I can cook in here. With with my remaining energy, what can I craft for food? Anything? I can make pastry dough. I don't have any sugar. I can make sauerkraut. Is that sugar or does it need salt? It needs salt. I have a shiz ton of salt downstairs. I'll make sauerkraut. Tasty. I'm not much of a kraut guy, to be perfectly honest. But I've gotten, I've gotten better with it over the years. So I think I keep all my salt down here with the bodies. So I'll grab like a stack of salt. I'll keep it upstairs. You never know when you might need a little bit of salt here and there. Um, 28 salt. In exchange, I will put the glass here. Salt. I also have jewelry down here. Why would I have jewelry down here? I can sell jewelry. Silly me. Well, tomorrow is merchant day. I could sell more jewelry. Or I can use the jewelry for things. I don't recall. I don't mind. Bring me back to Sweet Home. Teleport me. Whisk me away. And make me sauerkraut. Make me into sauerkraut. Plus 30, slow metabolism. All buffs last longer. Nice. And I will use... All the sauerkraut in my collection. And now I have kraut. I can eat the kraut. Nice. Now I can make all the kraut. Use... Eat a little bit of kraut to make more kraut to get more energy to make more kraut. It's endless recursion. It's a non-stop circle of kraut. And my goodness, I would not have it any other way. Now, come to think of it, this is only Bronze Star kraut. How could I have made this better? I could not have. There was no way to make this kraut better. So I don't know what it wanted from me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There was 8 over here. Nice. Zalkraut. Mmm, tasty. Now I'll make my way to the grave. No, not yet. Before going to the graveyard, I'll make these complex iron parts to make the headstones that I need. And then we'll get back to the graveyard. And we'll fix everything up. And hopefully it'll be over 200. And if it is, cool. We'll tell the bishop that next week. Then the next thing that I would need to do is on Moon Day. So I don't really need that here at all. 
I'm destroying this gudgeon. I don't need it. If I want more gudgeons, I can get more gudgeons. Alright, so I need a... Uh, Stone Cross 2. That's my 4 level. I have a 2 level, a 4 level, and I also need a 6 level, which will probably use... Uh, it'll use marble. And I can make one of the marble crosses. Sweet. Because I have a leftover silver bust, so perfect. I can also do a plinth too. I haven't made a plinth yet. I want to do a plinth. I will do. I want plinth. I don't have a plinth yet. I get more points for it too. Alright, armor to the graveyard. Eat a couple of bits of kraut. Yum. I love the idea that the graveyard keeper is just like, I'm just going to eat an entire bowl of sour cream. Honestly, that's the logic with a lot of games. Like, in Skyrim, you can just eat an entire block of cheese. Dare I say, you can eat copious amounts of blocks of cheese. Copious numbers of blocks of cheese. Circles of cheese. And I can uh, I can do the same thing here in the graveyard. That's what it's all about. So I need to put a grave... Oh, you need to do three? I thought you needed two. Oh, this is three. I did that. I wrote it down properly. Nice. The three has been taken care of. Nice. And I will prepare myself for the other ones. You... We're a five, you're taken care of already. You require a four. I have a four for you. There you go. You're already installed. I'll put you there. You require six. I'll put you there and work you on there. Nice. You require two. We put your two here. And then I install this one and we're almost there. We're almost at 200. There's literally just three more three more points that we need and to be honest i think we can get that with a couple more yards so i think that's what i'm going to a couple more lawns i'm gonna go get <laughs> some more peat so i can make more lawns i only need one more lawn i'm gonna make it exactly 200 so i need a single piece of peat and that'll that'll be that and that'll be the graveyard up at 200 honestly was that if you put your mind to it it's really not that difficult to do and honestly, I don't even need... I don't think I need to worry about the bodies no more. So I'm just going to leave them where they are. I don't need their materials. I don't want their materials. I don't want it. I don't need it today. I will let it... I will just let it go. There's so much stuff... Like, that's the thing. Like, this game always gives you stuff to work on. There is never something that you... There's never nothing to do. You could be farming. You could be harvesting bodies. You could be doing alchemy. There's still so much in this game that I haven't yet explored. And eventually, I think what I want to do is like, I'm not, I'm not done with like, uh, even when I complete this particular playthrough, I won't be done with this game. I want to be able to come back and like do like all the achievements of it if something like that, because it feels like it's totally doable to do. I don't think it's totally out of like, like, totally non possible. That could be something cool. 100%. This would probably be the first Steam game that I could potentially 100% that I didn't, like, specifically look up how to complete things for. Now we're at 200. Excellent. So now, when Sunday comes around, I will hold another mass. I will get more faith. Uh, I will be able to craft the last gold star statue. Uh, the graveyard is also at level 200. So then I can talk to the bishop to get that accomplished. Uh, I need to talk to the astrologer on moon day, which is quite a while from now, to be able to go what's next. Help the merchant attend a big ceremony. I have a strange feeling that is tied in with the bishop. So I need to get up to that level first. And that's really all I need to do. So I'm going to meditate until then. I guess that's what I'll do. I'll meditate until then. I'll meditate until claw, until claw day comes around. I'm going to take this jewelry that I found in my morgue and sell that, because I'd rather have money to spare. I don't need this jewelry here. Was I saving it for something? All right, well, if I was saving it for something, then I can just use it. I can make more. Uh, there will always be a way to make more. So I'll sleep for the night, talk to, talk to the chubby merchant in the morning, and see what we got going on there. I can't yet take his salty fork or whatever, so... There's some, there, I think I'm just five points away. And that usually means that there's some, at least from what I found so far, there are like bridging storylines, quest lines that are bridging together. Because it seems that you get quests in uh, pairs. I don't know exactly how much truth there is in that. I could just be wrong. It might have just been a coincidence with Snake and the Inquisitor. So, but even if that's like the case, we will continue to move on, continue to do well.
because that's that's the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. All right. Hey, Merchy, Merchy boy, trade. Give you all this jewelry. Excellent. Now I got more gold. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Now, well, the next thing to do, because I already talked to the merchant, I sold all the jewelry, is I can go back home and I can meditate until the next day of interest, which is going to be Moon Day. So I will meditate until Moon Day, because there's really nothing else for me to do. I'm trying to do, like, I'm really focusing on quests now. So that's what we'll do. We'll meditate for a little bit and just think about our life for a hot second. The cocktail that I made earlier was containing some cherry brandy. It also included some cinnamon liqueur, a couple of other different types of fruity liqueurs, a sour apple, there was a, ra a sour raspberry, there was other things as well that I can't quite recall right now. It was called Beautiful Red, which is why I wore my Beautiful Red shirt today. It's actually not mine. The shirt that I'm wearing is Anna's. She decided to, to, uh, what am I doing? Why do I have this like this? I should be, I should be down here. Hi there. It's Cameron, full screen. Anna decided to lend me this awesome shirt of hers. It's got a little, it's got a little ruffle on the side. I don't know. I, I love this. I don't usually dress like this. I'm a little self-conscious of things sometimes. I'm like, ah, do I look good in that one? Is the color going to work there? But honestly, I was, I was totally into this and it totally works with the red aesthetic. Everything looks very, very good. Updates in the life of me so far, I guess. Well, I was also saying earlier that we're looking for apartments now. I think Anna and I actually found a really, really nice apartment that we're going to move into. It's like twice the size of the current place that we're living in. I may actually be able to not do my dish. I, I may actually not have to have all of my stuff in the same room like we do currently. The living room area, if, if, if we do wind up getting the place and moving in, it'll probably be sometime around August. It's very, very exciting. And I think we'll probably set things up to be able to have the stream area and my game. Naturally, my stream computer and bar stuff will all be the same corner of a room. It'll be near the living room area, kind of like how it is now, although not necessarily the same. There's a lot more closet space. It's got a sauna in there. I don't know if it works. The bathtub has jets like a jacuzzi. It looks really, really cool. And it's a little more expensive than what we're currently paying now, but after we've gone through our budgeting and whatnot, it seems like we can definitely be able to afford a little bit more. Technically, if we stayed in the place that we're in now, we would have actually had to pay 5% more anyway, and currently, like, I'm totally open about this stuff. I pay $14.45 a month to live here, plus all the other utilities for, like, electric and for internet and stuff like that. So it's actually around $1,500, $1,600 a month, and uh, we can... We can afford doing a little bit more. So, to, for the purposes of a little more space, working our way up to whatever our final destination will be, probably some sort of nice home or whatever like that. All right. Now that Moon Day has come, come along, it's time to go to the lighthouse and talk to the astrologer because he's got something to say to me. I didn't read your book, but everybody at the university was excited. Perhaps a little too excited. They called it a breath of fresh air, and now they want a sequel. So we need to write another one. Are you kidding me? By the way, if you'd like to write something, I'll be glad to buy it. Oh, he'll buy books. Nice. I need to write a gold star book now. Incredible. I went through all of that trouble. Ugh. Well, on the bright side, I can buy a hardcover. Actually, this ain't, this ain't that bad. I can buy a hardcover. And then I can make that into a gold star hardcover by going back home. I may actually be able to accomplish this today. Maybe, maybe. That'd be really, really awesome if I can. And then he'll go back to the university and then come back and more books. Mm, this might be tough. Because I'm imagining... Oh, where did I put the other gold uh, gold jewelry detail? I think they're over... I think they're over in the chest over there. Interesting. Because I think there will only be a certain percentage of getting a gold star book. And if I'm not lucky... That could be very, very sad. There's the gold jewelry details. That's fine and dandy. I can go back there. I don't need faith to be able to create this book because I bought the soft cover, uh, the hard cover. So that should be okay. That's not a problem there. Make a hard cover. That's easy to do. But now I need to make the actual gold star book. And to do that is gonna be a little more difficult because in order to make the gold star book, I would need the gold star hard cover and a gold star chapter, and even still, it's a 50% chance. But apparently, I can do better 
if I have either of those two perks down there, which looks like a dude holding an alchemy triangle and a dude holding a gem. So let's see if those are technologies that I can research right now. No. Best friend. Best friend. Perk jeweler. If a nose for gems. That's one. What's the other one? Is there another one? Like a look like a dude holding like I don't know what it was, honestly. Nope. Alright, so that's the only one that I can do, and I need blue points for that. So what I can actually do is I can go back to the astrologer and buy those blue points to get what I need. Let's go back to the lighthouse. Hello you. I'm gonna buy your books. I have all this money now. I might as well put it to good use. There we go. Awesome. And do I have enough for that now? I do. Which is great. So now... Uh, farming in nature? No, it was building, right? Uh, your best friend. I have a nose for gems. Also, I know how to make really nice jewelry. This is great. Now I need to head back home. I gotta wait for the teleport stones. It's almost nighttime. If there is... There's a possibility I can do this in one day. If I can do it in one day, I'm gonna do it in one day. Other than that, then I'll have to wait for more faith for next time. And that's just how it's gonna be. Oh, come on, please. Please, 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 please. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close to being able to teleport. So close. Nice. All right, go back down here. I have that perk. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna only have like a 75% chance, but that feels worth it to me. Honestly, I could take that. Unless, unless I can build... I don't have any gold star stories. So this is literally the best that I'm gonna get. I don't have any gold star chap... I do have a gold star note. Uh, and if I do... Nah, that's really not a good chance for me. Alright, but let's try to build a book. This one. Book. That. Uh, with the... Silver Star Chapter, but I need a Silver Star Chapter. And for that, I need Silver Star Stories and stuff, which I haven't done yet. So let's let's get that squared away. Taking a little bit of time. That's one. I need three of those to make the Gold Star, the Silver Star Chapter, Silver Star Notes. Oh, I might be cutting things close, but it might work. It might work. Oh, I'm definitely cutting things close. I do not think this is going to work. But I may have time. If I if I get the gold book, it could be worth it. All right, come on, come on, come on. Sauerkraut. And now I need the book. Let's see. 70% chance? It's possible. It's possible. It may be. It's a Silver Star book. All right. That's fine. I got to wait till next week then. But I have a Silver Star book, and I can probably sell it to him. That's fine. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. So there's this other per well now I gotta think about it. I can get another perk. There's more perks that I can get. If I had better stories, it's this industrious perk. I don't know how to get that. I think that's what that perk is. And I see that it's used for a variety of different things, but let me let me double check again. Uh it's not here. It is not here. It's not here either. It's not here. It is also not here or here. Maybe if I research everything, that will open up the door for me. Maybe. That very well could be the case. I'm unsure. All right, well, that's that. I have a single pit of gold star notes. Well, you know, if I do more quests and whatnot, the door will open for additional stories and whatnot. Um, and the get gold star chapter, even if I do the notes and two silver star, there's a 23% chance, but like, I don't really want to take that chance. And there's no way for me to get gold star notes on the road. I might have to just wait for this guy to do some things, but oh well. We tried our best. We didn't succeed. That's all right. We'll figure out it next time. On the bright side, we can talk to the bishop tomorrow on the Sunday to get more faith, make some more stuff. It'll be great. It'll be great and wonderful. That's that's something to look forward to at the very least. So we'll go to sleep. We'll have a service. We'll make another gold bust. We'll give it to the dude. And it'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, exciting. Actually, I'm eat my strawberry garnish now. Very, very tasty. And I'll meditate a little bit more. 
just for the day to come to full form. And for everybody to wake up. Wake up, everybody. It's time for church. Time for you to give me money. Give me money and give me yellow orbs. That's what I want. That's what I need. Now, will the bishop just take me aside like last time or do I have to talk to him? I do have to talk to him, and that's okay. Money. Money, 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 money. Nice. Alrighty, then. Let's have a great, great service, everyone. Great service, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very great service. Excellent service. The best service, dare I say. Oops. Our church is great. Our church is wonderful. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And now, pray for the blessing. Give me all your faith. Give me all your faith. Give me all your faith. Literally all the time. Thank you for your donut, ton, 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 tons. Thanks, guys. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. I got, I got shit to do. Guys, get, 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 get out of the church. I got, I got shit to do. I got stuff I got to do. Get out of here. Get, 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 come on, get. Get out of my church. Give me your money. Yeah, 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 give me money. Thanks for the money. Wow, 44 each? That's good. Give me more. Oh. Your patronage is greatly appreciated. All right, back to sweet home. Gotta make this bust. Gonna make this bust look real good. I'll make this dude's bust look perfect. 80% chance. Let's try it. Gold bust. Silver star bust. All right, well, it's a good thing we have more. I have enough for one more. This is literally the most disappointing thing that could possibly occur to me today. And I don't even have any more car par carved marble anymore. Aw, oh, man. That's so disappointing. All right. Well, guess I'll wait for till next Sunday. Get some more faith. Sad. I could also try to see if I can make a better faith prayer to get more faith out of the peoples, but I don't know. Feels like a lot of effort. Well, I need to make some of these... Uh, uh, put you there. I need these wedges. How to make more wedges? 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 No. Wedges? No. Wedges? Wedges. I need billets. Billet? 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 Billet. Give me your billets. Please send your billets to the proper P.O. box. Thank you very much. Wedges. Wedges to make more marble. Where did I get marble? How did I bring the marble all the way down here? I'm trying to remember how. I don't know where the marble came from. Maybe there's a marble place nearby somewhere that I just forgot about it. And I have no space in my inventory. That's great. Probably because I had these billets and stuff. You have space? You got space. You can, you can keep some in there. That's fine. You can keep that. I'll take those. I can make more polished bricks of marble. Seems appropriate to me. It's fine. I'll make three of them. Why not? I have choice in this matter, and I shall utilize it how I see fit. With more. With three bricks of marble. And some sauerkraut in my body. Nom. All right. And we'll go another one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now what do I do? Well, that's the thing. We can do whatever we want to. I'm going to see if I can make a better prayer. If I can make a better faith prayer, then I should be able to get more faith. That feels, that feels appropriate. That feels nice. Now, I feel like... I haven't done a lot with the bishop, so I feel like we're going to have to upgrade the big cathedral, and then there's going to be one more, like, level of, like, reputation that the church has to get. I don't, I don't know. But I'm not going to look forward to that. I certainly will not look forward to that. All right, tell me, tell me how to make the prayer for faith, the good one. I need a gold, that's what I needed. Gold star chapter. And five pieces of faith. I don't have enough pieces of faith. I must sleep till next week. <laughs> I also need to have um, the, um, let's see. What did I need for the book again, for the hardcover? I need more faith for all this stuff. I'm also out of gold jewelry details. Oh, shoot. Which means I need more gold, which means I need to go mining. 
Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going up to the quarry. And I'm just gonna mine my sorrows away. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'll do from here. I have so much, so much stuff on me. Yeah, I'm just I'm warping up to the to the quarry. I'm gonna mine my days away. Put the stone in there. Stone, 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 stone. Not technically stone. Chisel. That's fine. Let's. Uh, we can we can cancel that. That's fine. We don't need that anymore. Piece of stone. Stone. Chisel. Chisel. If I just keep hitting this, I think I will be able to get gold nuggets, right? I just keep doing this. Right? Is this how this works? Yeah, I can get gold nuggets by just whacking on this thing. This is how I'm gonna do it. Gonna get some gold nuggets. Make some gold bars. Make some gold jewelry details. Use my faith to make better books. I need tanning agent. I know that. I need steel parts. I know that as well. Yeah, actually, just just keep doing that. If so long as the iron keeps moving downwards, I think we'll be just fine. I don't remember how many nuggets I need for an ingot. No, stop. This is this is not cool. This is not cool. Don't do that. There we go. That's fine. Thank you. That's better than it was previously. I'm just gonna keep on doing this until I get more gold because I want to get. I I need another chance at that book. It was like a 75. It was a 70 percent chance, so it really wasn't that high. But it's less. It's bigger than 50. I don't know. I've always had this like skewed perception of percentages. Like to me, a 50 percent chance is a really bad chance. Anything like 70 percent chance is also not a very good chance. Um, but that's because like there was definitely a game that I played. I don't know what it was, but it might have been like an MMORPG. For some reason, Wizards 101 comes to mind. That might not be right. But there were like, there was percent chances of things to happen. Actually, I think it was Wizard 101. I want to say, while I played a bunch of Wizard 101, there's percent chances of certain spells working. And anytime I saw like a 70 or 80% chance, I'm like, nope, not worth it. I don't want that spell because that's not a good enough chance for me. Because I just hated the idea that it wasn't absolutely certain. Like anywhere from... Upper 80s to 90 was a good percent chance. That was totally worth it. But I think, like, 80 or low, not worth it. Not worth it. It wasn't something I was going to entertain. Now I have three gold nuggets. I don't know if that's enough. Is it enough? Let's see. I think it's one gold nugget per bar, right? No, it's two per bar. And I require two gold nuggets per thing. Okay, I need to go back up. Come on. All right, back to bed with you. Back to bed with you. The, oh, the teleport stone will be better in the morning. Back up to the quarry to get more gold. I am literally not planning to take any of that iron that is sitting right there. I hope it disappears one day. If I have enough of that stuff, I literally, I don't need this iron. I don't need it. I don't want it. I just want gold. It's like, get out of here. All right, one more gold piece. Just one, just one. Or not. Or not. But I thought I smelt gold over here. My nose was attuned to the smell of the element of gold. Gold. Going home. Cooking this up. Cooking this up for dinner. Mmm. Dinner. Now I also need to talk to Claw though, because I need to purchase another tanning agent. Which I will need. I will also need an additional soft cover, which I don't remember how to make off the top of my head, but it's not important right now. It'd be cool if I could also get the recipe for a tanning agent. That'd be nice. I got plenty of coin now, so I'll just buy more recipes. If I need more recipes, I'll buy more recipes. It's easy. It's that easy. Do I get more gold from bidding these things up? Oh, I actually just got iron ore for a bit. Well, that's, that's cool. Do I get gold, though? That'd be cool. My pickaxe is... Br oh, this day couldn't get any worse! It's fine. It's okay. I'm not... And my inventory is full, too. I, I don't want this iron ore. I don't want it. I don't want this single stone. Don't want it. Talk to me, Claw, though. Give me your recipe. Give me your recipe for love. Balsamic. Preservative. Golden Elixir. My phone has fallen to the ground because I was not paying attention. Give me more tanning agent. Apparently, I need this stuff. 
Teach me how to make tanning agent? Energy potion. That feels really good. Actually, energy potions sound awesome. How do I make an energy potion? Because I could definitely do with using alchemy to give myself energy and not making food. Who needs food when you have alchemy and science? That feels so much better. All right, how do? How do I do the do? How do I done do to do? A energy potion? Acceleration. Acceleration powder, acceleration solution. And it gives me plus 50. That's incredible. And where do I make uh, acceleration solution again? I don't remember. But I know how to make that now. But I don't really feel like making it now. I have plenty of sauerkraut left. I can always have more sauerkraut. Back to sweet home so I can prepare. I can re repair my pickaxe with my wheat stone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pickaxe. Pickaxe? May I pickaxe you a question? You may not, said Cameron. You may not. Gold ingot. I'm gonna go downstairs. I need to figure out how to make the stay inside. How do I make the door close behind me? I do not know. I do not know. Now, what do I need for a soft cover? I do not remember. Teach me. Teach me, oh wise table. And it is to make the soft cover. I need just the paper. That's fine. That's easy to do. All right. Now that I have that, I need to make the regular hardcover with the tanning agent. I have that. I will use that. Easy. I'll put the tanning agent in here because I use that here. The next is the hardcover, which I need the two steel parts for, which I can go upstairs to grab. I ate sauerkraut. That's good. Two steel parts. Uh, two steel parts. And then I need the gold jewelry details for that final bit. And this is about to finish, so I'll make them up here. Um, I think Gold Jewelry Details was more faith than I currently have. So I'm gonna have to wait until... I'm gonna have to wait until the next Sunday anyway. Oh, such a bother. On the bright side, it only takes one. Oh, maybe there's a possibility that I'll make two because I'm so good at making jewelry. That would actually be really dope. Crossing my fingers that I get two of these because that would be awesome. Super cool. Super cool? Super cool and fun? I don't have space in my inventory. Where's that? Oh, why would I? Can I put these parts away? I don't need them. Well, I need one of these steel parts. But I don't need this iron. I don't need this complex. I don't need this simple. Give me the... It's only one. But that's that's okay. So I need more faith. Uh, the church may have faith right now. There might be somebody who wants to confess. That's always a positive. We appreciate that. I also have these silver nuggets too. I have these steel parts. I had... That's all I needed for the hardcover book. For the, the silver star hardcover, I believe. Yeah. So let's, ma let's make some of that. Let's make some of that. Hardcover. Oh, I needed faith. Duh. I don't have that. <laughs> if I had any faith, we wouldn't be in this predicament. And what stinks is that... That's really that really sucks actually. I need more faith when I than what I currently have. And there's nobody making confessions right now, so I'm gonna have to wait all the way until Sunday again to get more faith. Oh wow. Oh wow, so I guess I'm meditating. I guess I'm just gonna meditate this whole time. There's no other way for me to get faith aside from just kind of waiting it all out. I gotta wait until Sunday to get more faith and then just keep waiting all over again to get more of that stuff. Ow, what a bother. That's just what it's gotta be. Anyway, back to life as we know it. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? How is everything going? Things have continued to be nice in the world. I wanted to show off my embroidery. I think I showed it off on Monday, but I've been doing some, I've been learning how to embroider nowadays. It's actually, it's actually quite nice. This has taken me literally hours to do, uh, but it's actually quite enjoyable. And to be perfectly honest, you know what? <laughs> While this thing is going, I might as well just start embroidering because this is the best way to pass the time. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm making all these small little cross stitches. Essentially I go in from the top, I go in from the bottom left corner, I come out from the top right corner, I go back into the top left corner, and then I come back out from the bottom right corner. Are you explaining how you do cross Yes, stitch? I'm explaining how I do my cross stitch because I don't have enough faith, so I have to be a zealot and wait until next Sunday to bring more meaning to my life, to put the faith into my writings in order to convince the academy that I am not a dumb doo-doo head. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Does that make nope. sense? No idea. Doesn't make sense. Does not okay. make sense to Anna. Doesn't need to make sense to Anna. It just needs to make sense to me. So that's all it'll be. You know, at some point, I'm actually, I'm, I'm seriously considering doing a just chatting stream where it's just us going through some embroidery and whatnot. It would, li it would, I would literally not be able to do a whole design in a single hour. This has taken me so many hours to do. I would not be able to do the design that I have now in a single sitting. It would take way, way too long. Unless I get like really, really, really good, which I'm not. I'm not. You're getting more efficient. I am getting more efficient. I'm doing very, very good. I'm, be, I'm able to be able to go across these things, and I'm trying to keep it in the camera if I can, but I'm not doing a very good job of that. You could always try smaller strands so that you're not doing as much uh, back and forth. I could do that, too. I could definitely use smaller strands. Um, it's almost moon day. A technique for sewing machine, if you know you're going to be using a lot for the bobbin, is you set up multiple bobbins. So you would set up multiple needles for that. What do you mean by multiple bobbins? What is the what's the benefit of multiple bobbins? Oh, the bobbin is the bottom thread for the sewing machine. So Okay. So you can't infinitely set up the bottom of the sewing machine with more thread than what you have. But if you know you're going to be sewing a lot in that one color, having it already set up, you don't have to worry about like taking oh, everything out and okay. resetting it and like redoing the bobbin that's in the bottom. Interesting. So it'd be like the same tactic except, you know, for you. I've always wanted to learn how to sew and like use a sewing machine, but for the longest time, Anna wouldn't teach me. Anna still won't teach me. Anna still won't teach me. See, the funny thing is I, I, I tend to learn things pretty quickly. And so the problem with teaching me something is I tend to get pretty proficient at it relatively quickly. Naturally, there's a logarithmic curve on these things. Like just because I learn fast, like I'll fastly get up to a certain percentage, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to get to like 100% or 90% because it's like an exponential. It's an exponential curve. That's it. It's not logarithmic. Or is it? No, yeah, it's logarithmic. That's that's what it is. That's that's the math behind the whole thing. Um, I'm bypassing Moon Day. I don't need Moon Day. I just need Faith Day. And now that it is Faith Day, I will take a break. This is how far we got. Very cool. Now, back to the main screen. Let's wake ourselves up. I love these fortune cookies. Oh, what does the fortune cookie say this time? Fate will find a way. Fate will find a way. Oh, can I have a fortune cookie? I want a fortune. May I have the fortune, the cookie of the fortune? Give me the fortune cookie. What will it be? What's the fortune cookie? I don't know. Crack it. Are you gonna eat the paper? I don't know whether or not I should be disgusted. <clears throat> if a true sense of value is to be yours, it must come through service. Serve your community. Serve your church. Serve your God. Worship. Worship me. Or not. Or not. Worship my church. You can worship my church. It's not technically a deity. Ain't no false gods here. Just the real gods. The gods, the real gods of old. Or something like that. I don't know. There's definitely, I don't know what the religion is in Graveyard Keeper world, but there is definitely a religion. Oh, la, la. All right, skip this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to skip it. I don't like listening to the sermon anymore. I am actually like in real life. I am the kind of person who kind of gets bored at church during mass and whatnot. So I don't, I don't necessarily go to mass. But when I am there, I'm. It's probably a, not a really nice thing, but like I'm not, I'm not that into church. Mass bores me, and I know, I know I should be entertained. I know I should have more entertainment in the word of the priest and whatnot. But just not into it. Just not my cup of tea. Everyone's got their cup of tea. That just, this one just ha ain't happening to be mine. All right, gold jewelry details. Gibby, gibby, gibby. Then I can make the hardcover book. Then I can try to make the gold star book to prepare myself for the next moon day. Um, also too, now that I have more faith, I'm going to see if I can make a gold star bust for my buddy, the Bishop. You know him, you love him. It's Bishop, it's Buddy. Uh, he probably has a name, but I can't remember what it is. All right, 80% chance. I don't have enough polished marble wait what really wait a minute is it gold star marble or stone marble statues it is what have i been making oh my god have i been making the right one stone in the where have i put the stone the stone's up at the quarry oh my god why did i do that go to the quarry 
I really hope I've been making the right ones. It's marble, right? It is carved pieces of marble. Great, great. And I left all my stone up here, that's why. Okay. There we go. Take that all back with me. Take the marble back with me, that's fine. And I gotta wait for my teleport stone to... Yeah. I need to wait for things. I hate being patient. I am not a patient individual. Although compared to Anna, I am. Anna's not patient. I, I'm honest about it. Anna, yeah, you are not a patient person. I'm amazing. I didn't say I was patient. I'm she amazing. is amazing. However, she is not patient. Note, when she said she's amazing, she did not say she is patient. She knows. She's a humble individual, aren't you, dear? No. I know. She knows. She knows, you know, we all know. We all know. Only humble in certain things, the things that we don't show humility for. I, being the humble person that I am, am going to make a beautiful bust of my face. And it is beautiful because it's gold starred, meaning we finally succeeded three weeks later. Jeez. Today, I carved my face in stone. That's what it was. Perfect thumbnail idea. It's me as a marble statue. I love it. All right. Could the graveyard be... So about the cathedral, here's the statues. Your holiness, I finished your statues. I think the one for the graveyard is best. Oh, they look all look great. Do I really have such manly cheekbones? Sure. Let's put this one right here in front of the main entrance. Are you kidding me? It looks magnificent. Almost everything is already for the cathedral. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, could the graveyard be any better? The graveyard is indeed well maintained. I can see all the love you've put into it. Have you had any problems with the Inquisition, ghosts, witches? I've had some problems. You know, that was a silly question. You're not in an Inquisition cell, so everything must be all right. Why do we even build these stupid ships of the dead? And all that talk about the walking dead, I'm sure they're just stories. Then the money could go to the church. Not that stupid shipyard. Hmm. Very interesting. Shipyard? Where? Upgrade the cathedral. Good. It's tall enough to see the town walls. Super beautiful. All right. So what now? So about the cathedral. And there's also no sign of relief for the town's water shortage. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I do love my job. Oh, okay. Um. So you're going to need to be an aristocrat now so you can stand with me at the ceremony as my peer. I am an aristocrat. Nice. Oh, are you done talking? I think we've been over this. No one will know except you. <laughs> right? Oh, I can't believe the cutscene's still going on. No, this time it's important. We need someone who is close enough to the royal court to attend our ceremony. So we're clear, right? You need to get some aristocrat papers. Also, as I said, we need someone important at our ceremony. I couldn't find anybody. The merchant. Maybe you could talk to your friend Lord Inquisitor. He's not my friend. Come on, don't be shy. He likes you. All right, I'll talk to him. Oh, <laughs> great. So go get yourself some aristocrat papers and an accepted invitation from someone important. And I'll prepare my s and I'll prepare my speech. I have the aristocrat papers. They should be in my inventory somewhere. Okay, where are my aristocrat papers? Where are my aristocrat papers? I think they're at my house. Sweet home. Are you over here? Aristocrat papers? Yeah, there you are. I'm gonna put... Dude, you are just clipping out there, bro. Put one of my chisels out here. Please excuse the sound of the people outside. Oh my god, dude, don't leave. Please don't leave yet. Oh my god, I want to give you the aristocrat papers. And I need to give an accepted invitation by somebody important. I suppose I should probably talk to the merchant, because the merchant is the guy who wants to be in the royal court, so... Alright, here. I have aristocrat papers. Nice. Two gold stories! I just sacrificed my entire family and ten years of my life to get mine. Yet you gain yours so simply. You truly are an extraordinary man. Nice. Awesome, and the cathedral looks awesome. Great. I'm gonna go downstairs and write a story, because I have really nice stories now. This is wonderful. That will give me prayers for more good goody goods. Very, very goods. Um, I think I also have 
mosaics outside. I remember, now that I have a, an upgraded cathedral, perhaps I can make- I can use those stained glass windows now. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Now. I never actually made the hardcover? Oh, interesting. I'll make the hardcover, now that I'm down here. I also need to make sure that I have... Oh, but here's the thing. I can either use a gold star chapter on a prayer for faith, or I use it on the book. And if I have the book, then it's a shoe in Well, let's see if I can even make a gold star chapter, because I don't even know if I can yet. I might be able to, maybe. I, I'll probably be able to. I think I think I will have enough, actually. Gold star stories. Need more kraut in my system. Yummy, yum, yum. Kraut in my gut. I can make a gold star chapter. And it's still only 90%? That's whack, dude. That, that's Those are pretty good odds to me. Excellent. Now I have the gold star chapter. I want to progress in the storyline more. So I'm going to make the gold star book and I will save the prayer for later. Nice. Now that I got that, I can talk to the astrologer. Um, I need to get the accepted invitation. So I'm going to sleep until I, and I'm going to sleep until merchant day where I will talk to the merchant and see if he's interested in having a thing. Actually, it's also, it's downward facing day. That's Miss Charms day. If the merchant doesn't accept, then I'll ask the inquisitor on the inquisition day. That's how that's going to go. I'm going to try to see where I get... My goal is to either... I want to get some of the endgame items today. I want to get another one. And I don't know which one I'm going to get first. It looks like it's going to be the bishops. Or maybe the merchant. Well, actually, if I if the merchant is the one who accepts the event, then I'll get the salty fork too. There could be two more endgame items here. And that, that could be good. That could be very good. Um, and if it seems to be making progress with the astrology... I, I don't know. We'll see where things go. If I can complete the game tonight, or if I can get to the portal tonight, I will. I will make things a little bit longer. I don't think it's going to work. However, I am I am going to give it my best shot. All right, let's meditate for a little bit longer. I'm going to go back to my stitching for a hot second while I wait things out. Go back to the... That's okay. I'm not going to go back to the big screen this time around. It's not a very long time this time around, so I think it'll be okay. I hope y'all can bear with the small face and the feelings of meditation. You know, I did, I did actually watch a movie over the weekend uh, for Mother's Day. Uh, it was something at the request of my fiance's mother, who's very, very into like the spiritual aspect of life and living. And so it was about this movie star movie star dancer person i think her last name was mclean or something like that i don't remember what her first name was it might have been like lucy or something like that but it was about her coming to terms with like a spiritual awakening of hers um and it was like it was a little far beyond like i'm i'm not totally against the idea of like spirits and whatnot out there or um or like spirits out there or ghosts or you know potentially healing properties of like i don't know stones and stuff like that i mean if it, like a lot of that's like potentially placebo right like if you believe it's going to do good for you that might trick you into thinking it but even still that's still a net positive so why would you you know why would you question it but if in fact like, it was about her coming to terms with stuff like that and like experiencing it we only watched part one though there's apparently a part two seems interesting help merchant attend a big ceremony his new position all right so i guess i'm gonna have to actually talk to the inquisitor um i bet the inquisitor is gonna say no Maybe. And then the merchant's gonna be the one who is invited next. So, back to Sweet Home. Back to the meditation. I'm gonna wait till Inquisition Day. And talk. There we go. Back to- back to over here. Back to the thing. But yeah. It was really, really interesting. So, it starts off with this person starting to question, like, I guess their motives and stuff in life. And where they're currently at. They have money. They have fame. That's something that they have. And they start falling in love with this socialist guy from, I think, Britain. Um, and then during that whole thing, uh, the dude's actually married. And so the dude starts having an affair 
with this particular dancer and then the dancer starts questioning about like spirituality and stuff like that and tries to talk to the dude about it but he doesn't really seem that into it to be perfectly honest he doesn't really seem to entertain the idea then again there might be a further part of the story that i'm not yet aware of because there are indeed two parts of the movie and we only watched part one so there's probably more there that i just that i just don't know about I'm actually very curious about it. Honestly, it was presented in such a way that usually the family members, some of the family members aren't super into that kind of stuff. I'm rather open-minded on it. So I was like entertaining the idea, thinking like, you know, if it is, if it isn't, like I'm more than happy to watch the movie and kind of get my own thoughts on it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious about what other people's thoughts are on that. Sorry, I just got a knot in my embroidery. So I think I'll just take care of that later. It's almost top of the day anyway. But, like, one of the concepts that was brought up in the movie was that people can, like, channel the energy of spirits who are in, like, the great beyond or something like that. And, like, to me, that kind of sounds like a medium. And if I could enter, if I can entertain the idea of ghosts and spirits existing, then I could also entertain the idea that somebody out there has the ability, more so than the rest of us, to be able to channel that energy in some way now in the movie it showcased a couple of different characters who were able to actually like channel the beings in such a way that they speak through them and they become like different people now to me i have my skepticism on that i don't know i i mirror the thoughts of the person who portrayed the the socialist in the movie of saying uh i don't know they, they they're probably just really really good actors but like I've never actually experienced it myself and i may very well be in a position one day where i experience something like that and it totally turns me over my mother would always tell me too that she found her faith very 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 much later on in life after a lot of events occurred and whatnot and it wasn't until a particular moment where she's like all right she accepted jesus christ into her heart at this point in time i have not done so maybe i will one day many many years down the line or perhaps it could be tomorrow when some life-changing event occurs I'm open to the idea, but for now, I practice eatsism about something. There's something out there. I don't really know what it is, and I don't have the details for it, but I want to believe in it. I don't want to have faith in it. Speaking of faith and whatnot, the Inquisitor has something to say. About the ceremony at my cathedral. Monsignor, can I ask you for a favor? I'm listening. Could you attend a big ceremony at my new cathedral? Together with Bishop, we'll pray for water to return to the town. Bishop is at 10? Wait, what? Only a tent? That's that's not accurate. I have no time for such nonsense. But we need someone important to attend. Try to find someone for the royal court. Leave. Alright, so I have a different vision, and it is definitely talking to the merchant. The merchant is most definitely the person who I have to talk to next. So back to Sweet Home. I'm gonna meditate until the next day, because now I'm gonna talk to the astrologer about his mission, his goal. Let's see how that pans out. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to pull my string out. Apparently it unlooped itself. Nice. <laughs> I was trying to get a knot out of my embroidery, but apparently it undid itself, so excellent. Love it when a plan like that works out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, well, it's almost moon day, so I'm just gonna finish off this just one more stitch. Just one more stitch. This is actually very enjoyable. I actually, I love being able to do this. Uh, it's something that Anna and I were trying to figure out, like, how do we put... So we're cosplaying the Hitachi twins from Oran High School Host Club. And we're trying to find what's the best way... We were trying to figure out one of the ways that we can put the crests on their jacket. And I was like, I'd love to try to embroider them on. And so we got me a cross-stitch kit. We decided to go off on We decided to start looking into it. And it was like, it was a really awesome day. And I was like, I'm going to buy all my fabrics. And I was like, I'm going to buy my stitching stuff. And we're going to start working on this cosplay stuff again. We kind of had like a moment where we were like, we got to start uh, working together on this in a different way. Because previously it wasn't working out for us. And we really want to do more cosplay stuff. And it's been going really, really well. And we're going to, we're going to a convention this weekend. We're not, we're not dressing up as the twins this weekend. The cosplay is nowhere near done. But if you're interested in that kind of stuff, and I don't, I don't mean this as a plug or anything, like, if you are actually interested in that kind of stuff, we have an Instagram page for it as well. And I realize I don't have my bot program to put those out there, but I think it's somewhere linked on the Twitch page or the YouTube page, somewhere like that. If you're into that kind of stuff. If not, totally cool. You do whatever you want to. Book time. I wrote a book for you. Here's a book. 
Oh, well, this looks good. We'll be going on that expedition in no time. Achievement unlocked. Bestseller. Nice. Okay. Um, I guess I need to wait for you for next week. That's my assumption. So now I'm going to go back to Sweet Home. Go back down here. Go back onto the meditation plane. And I guess talk to the... I'll wait till Sunday to get more faith. That's what I need to do. I will wait till Sunday to get more faith. Because I'll get more faith. Then... Um, the merchant day will come around, and I will talk to the merchant about going to the royal court. That'll be how that goes. Honestly, I don't even feel bad about the fact that I'm kind of, like, going through all this different quest-related stuff right now and not really paying attention to the other, other stuff going on. I, for so long in this game, had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. I was so lost on how to get blue points and this, that, and the other thing, and I've complained about it before, so I don't need to go into the details of it all, but I was, like, so confused with what I needed to do in order to do pretty much anything. And so the fact that I know exactly what to do, or at least I think that I do, and where to do it is actually really, really cool. It's very reassuring. Like, all the pieces seem to, like, it seems like all the pieces are just falling into place. I'm like, I gotta go here and do this, and I gotta go here and do this, and I get the items for here. It's a very... Why are the aristocrat papers just sitting here? Okay, that's fine. I guess I didn't take it. I don't have an accepted invitation. Nothing like that yet. However, let's go. Let's go have a nice... Let's go have a nice church. You and me have a nice church. Very good church. 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 There we go. And as that sermon's going on, I guess... I guess I'll conduct board. I guess I'll continue doing more stitches on that. It's something I'm working on. It's actually, I, I, I was saying I'm really enjoying the whole cross stitch part of it. And honestly, it's just the first, like, start, cross stitching isn't new to me. So cross stitching is actually something that I learned about, first off, from one of my buddy's mothers. Uh, specifically, Lycos Lore's mom is super, super into cross stitch. She literally has a room that's full of she's got her she's got her stitching chair she's got her stitching equipment and whatnot and she just she hangs around watches a tv show and stitches and like honestly that's that's an awesome that's an awesome thing and that's pretty much what anna and i have been doing these past couple days we sit down watch some television watch a show i do some stitching sometimes i stitch when i'm in bed sometimes i stitch when i'm watching my netflix shows on my computer you can stitch and do anything you want you can stitch and bitch if you want to there's so many different possibilities honestly sewing in general is something that i've always wanted to learn how to do and this is the closest that i've gotten to it technically speaking it is sewing in some way shape or form so yeah i think i finally learned how to sew at least in one way a particular type of stitch is something that i know how to do now I guess. Do a What's that, dear? I could find you other stitches if you want to try them. Ooh, Anna said she could find me other stitches as well. I'm excited. There's always more things to learn. I think I'm going to keep with the cross stitch for this particular endeavor here, but we'll see. All right, waiting for Claw Day to talk to the Merchant. The Merchant will give me the information to be able to go to the court. Then I take the information from the court and I bring it back to the bishop. But first I talk to the astrologer. Actually, today is, all right, today is Miss Charm's day. I may be able to talk to Miss Charm because I'm finished talking to the astrologer. So I'm gonna stop at the dead horse and find out. You, buddy, bad luck, okay. Miss Charm, anything? I have some questions, no more questions. No more questions, your honor. All right, there's nothing there. Although I do have all these burial certificates. I'll sell these while I'm over here. And I can also sell sauerkraut. Excellent. All right, back home I go in a moment. So this was not the day. Today was not the day. What are you doing? You better talk to my husband. I am not gonna talk to your husband. I will not. I'm going home. Back to home. Gonna wait till the claw day so I can talk to the buddy who was a part of the royal court. And I get back to my stitchiness. My stitchiness and my bitchiness. It's great, it's wonderful. But yeah, I always wanted to learn how to sew, and so I'm happy that I can say I've learned how to do at least a particular stitch now, which is great. Also, too, like, I really like... I like to do art. I like to do art sometimes, and I haven't done it on stream very often, but mostly because, like, there is a number of different art mediums out there that I like to explore that I don't think I'm particularly good at. For example, 
I don't think I'm particularly good at drawing. Although, I think I do some nice things every once in a while, and I don't do it very often. I don't think I'm particularly good at painting, so I don't really paint very often. I know, what I know I am good at is I know that I'm really, really good with my hands. I know I'm very good at woodworking. I can woodwork pretty well. I made sands and papyrus in the background with, with a, with a, oh, it's a tiny little desktop bandsaw thing, which was pretty cool to do. Um, and I know I can do that. And now, because this crusted stuff is basically just pixel art, I think I'm pretty good at that too. And so I feel like, and I don't say this as a means to like brag about my own talent and whatnot. I don't like to do things especially like in the public eye, unless I think that I'm at least relative at a relatively good level for it. Like I have like my own standards that I like to keep with. And if I don't think I'm good at it, I usually don't do it. I'm rather discouraged from doing so. Cause I don't, I don't, I could explore things, but I don't really want to. I'd rather explore it on my own time. But let's see, the merchant is ready. About the ceremony at my cathedral. Could you attend the big ceremony at my new cathedral? Together with Bishop, we'll pray for water to return to the town. Is Bishop the cheeky one? I guess so. Yeah, the cheeky one. Ha! This ceremony will be a great way to show everyone my new position. So you agree? I don't know. The Bishop is my brother. We haven't spoken in many years. He thinks I've been wasting my time traveling instead of making career here in the town. Maybe it's time for you to make peace. You're right. Okay, I'll come. Awesome. Now I have that. Which means I can talk to the bishop on Bishop Day. Or, or, well, on, on Bishop Day. Okay, well, I'll go back to Sweet Home. I will go back to the meditation. I will wait until the astrology day so I can talk to the astrologer so he can tell me how to save Wagner and all that stuff and the other thing. I'm going back to over here. This is a significant portion of time, so I will go back to the screen. Are y'all into embroidering out there? Because if you are, that's awesome. That's a great thing. Now, in particular, I was talking about things that I think that I'm good at and being able to showcase them and whatnot. Now, something like this, this is a really, really comp, this is a large design, I guess I would say. It's not super duper big, but I guess it's rather complex, I suppose. I'm getting faster at what I'm doing now, but I'd rather be able to, if I would ever to do something on stream, I'd rather be able to do it as like a means to like do something all in one session or maybe not. I mean, to be perfectly honest too, I could very well, like, I actually, what I recently started doing too, is I actually started doing, like, regular YouTube videos. I only have one up right now. I played a game called Coin Monkey. It was interesting. I found it on the internet, which is kind of funny. But so, I found, I found that I decided to take the opportunity to do some offline gaming and whatnot, but also film it as well, and kind of put my editing skills and whatnot to the test to see if I can take, like, content that exists in a long form of time, kind of like the streams and whatnot, and distill it down to like the funny parts or the parts that are most interesting. Uh, at least, I mean, I'm the only judge of what's interesting because I'm the one editing it. I do not have an editor or anything like that. I have a knot that's stuck. Ugh. So disappointing. This is so sad. Everything's all tangled and whatnot. Ugh. That's okay. That's, that's something I can play around with. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm ripping my threads apart. My goodness. What was I saying? Yeah, I started doing like you. I started. Uh, I have a, another YouTube channel, and it's just the name Cameron spelled with an X. It's not Cameron with an X like the VOD channel. It's just the Wonder One. I figured long form content goes on the longer name channel, and then the short form content goes on the short name channel. That seemed to make sense to me at the time, so I went with it. And so there's only one thing up there so far. If you're interested, feel free to drop a subscription. If you don't, if you want to, you don't have to. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. You just be well in your life. So long as you're keeping well in your life, I'll try to keep well in my life. Oh, it's astrology day. I have to go back. I got distracted. My sincerest apologies. Okay, on to the lighthouse. Talk to me, buddy. I don't know what you wrote, but my professor has been my professorship has been fully restored. I've even been promoted. Ah, best of all. The dean, the dean signed the expedition's papers. I keep forgetting what voice to do for this guy. Oh my god. But we have a final problem. We need someone with aristocrat papers to accompany me. Good thing I have one of those. It wouldn't normally be a problem to find someone, but considering the sensitivity of our situation, it shouldn't really be you. Get yourself some aristocrat papers. I'm depending on you. I have aristocrat papers. Here you go. Good, everything is prepared. Nice. 
shall send for my daughter. She will join us near the fort. Start the royal expedition. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, I... Hmm. This is good. We have papers from the univer royal university. We need to go to the old archaeological site. You may pass, but I'll have to let Lord Commander know you're here. Nice. Oh, there's no need, brave soldier. We let him sleep. We'll talk with him in the morning. Thank you both for helping me. You're welcome. Where can we find Wagner? 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 He should be near in a camp near the road. Nice. Hey, Wagner. Are you dead yet, buddy? Oh, nice. It looks like the soldiers are sleeping. Snore. Snore, snore, snore. 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 Wagner. Ow, oh, Miss Charm, you shouldn't see me like this. It's alright. I see only your inner beauty. Be quiet. How can we get this cage open? I have some lockpicks I had pretty I had pretty pretty yeah, bad youth. Something about getting him out of one of the crates. Wagner, what a beautiful name. Nice. Miss Charm, I Miss Charm, I have so many There you are! You ruin everything! My son should have been a glorious knight, and now we don't need them anymore! So he decided to become a writer. Oh, Wagner's father. What a shame. You're the one who blew up, blew up, who blew up the passage. It's all your fault. It wasn't my fault. We need, we need new calculation after the great blast. I think our golden angle wasn't that accurate, so. Our excuses. I know that something's going on. First this creature, then your expedition. You are all traitors and you're probably a witch. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm undercover. You can kill me if you want, but release my daughter! Father, I can't leave without my father and this young man. I have connections at the court. Can I just leave, please? <laughs> the court? I'm the king's uncle. And I'm his son, Wagner. Oh, shut up! I'll admit Wagner is, of course, is a great disappointment, but this is too much even for him! I can prove it. I have a birth- I have birthmark just to the left of my tail. It should be somewhere around here, I don't know, my fur. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna kill you all. No bodies! No problem! I can help with the bodies, Lord Commander. So it seems that this is the end. Forgive me, daughter. I cannot change what I did, but right now you are everything to me. Father, this is the best day of my life. I found my father and my love. Wagner, let me kiss you! Oh my god! True love's kiss. My son! Yes, father, it's me. You nearly killed your own child, but I forgive you. I have a deal to offer you. I'll become a knight, but you have to let everyone else go. That sounds fair. As for you, old man, we're not done. But for now, all of you can go! Wagner... Don't be sad, we'll be together soon. Here, take this necklace. I think it belongs to you. I bought it using my father's name. I wanted to make it a surprise. Miss Charm's necklace? The astrologer's golden compass. Everything seems to have ended up well? I don't know, my young friend. I think we still have a lot of problems. Wagner is alive and safe. Come along, father. I want you to show me where you live. And you... Thank you for everything. Is there anything I can do for you? That necklace. I needed to get back home to my love. Hmm. Seems like it's already helped me. I hope it likes you too. Here. Take it. Oh, young man. I managed to get a golden angle from my stuff. That old stuff after all. It's yours as we agreed. Two more endgame items. You look like your mother. But I'm as smart as you are. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god. Wait. No, the angle. Oh, thank God. I can drop ship. All right. That's two more. Oh my God, this is great. Okay. I'm dropping stuff. What don't I need on me? I don't need these maggots. I can, I'm going to eat all these maggots. In celebration of the acquisition of the Golden Angle and the other thing, I have eaten a bunch of maggots. And now on Sunday, I can talk to the dude. Oh my God, this is perfect. I think we're getting through the portal tonight. Oh, 
Oh my god! I think we're actually getting through the portal tonight! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh my god, this is so exciting! Okay, I have the le necklace, and I got the golden angle, and I can go downstairs. I'm gonna drop my silver nuggets outside. Oh, this is great! Oh, this is really awesome! Oh my god, this is really awesome. All right, all right, portal, portal, here we come. I'm changing the title of this stream. I'm very excited now. Portal, portal, here we come. End game. I think. I hope it's end game. This feels like end game. Oh, I'm really, really excited. That means, so as soon as this playthrough, if this is the last, if this is the last episode for Graveyard Keeper, no DLC, then we'll see. Then we'll see, because then I get to start the next playthrough, but I'm really, really excited about it, because I'm really, really looking forward to the next playthrough that I got planned. It's going to be awesome. I think it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome for me. It might not be awesome for you. If it is awesome for you, great that we've accomplished great things. Oh, what was I doing? I was going to throw these stories in the basement and then wait around till Jerry, what's up? You know what? I kind of like you. You're my only friend. You're my friend, too. Why are you throwing this on me? I hope you never get home, and one day you'll be a skull just like me. And the new guy will dig us both out. That would be so much nicer, sitting here together, remembering our youth. Sounds good, but I I do need to get home. Yeah, sure. It's just an old skull stream. <laughs> Buddy, are you okay? See you later, bud. <laughs> See you later, bud. Talk to you next time, bud. Yeah, bud. See ya, bud. Well, I can put that away. Uh, I can also put this away. I still don't have enough for another, like, golden chapter or anything like that, so there's no use in doing anything like that, so... Back to my sweet home. Back to meditation. Back to talking to the bishop in the morning. It's very possible that this is literally the last thing that I need to do to get the two final items, in which case, we're making it into the portal tonight. <laughs> and that's awesome! But now, instead of that, I'm gonna try to knock out this embroidery kink. Come on, buddy. I have a knot, and it's so frustrating to get out. I just... I can't get it out, and I'm using my nails to try to get it. It's so... Somehow I got the knot out last time, and I don't know how I did it without touching it. This might be... Yeah, this is definitely something I'm gonna have to do off stream. This is taking way too much of my effort now. What a bother. All right. I'll bother myself with it tomorrow when I'm cleaning things up and whatnot. Okay, Bishop. Buddy. It's time. Let's have a great ceremony. Please. Please, let's have a great ceremony. All right, buddy. I have the accepted invitation. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Gold story. Let's begin the ceremony. The keeper of the king's kitchen accepted the invitation. Great. Then let us begin the ceremony. First, let us await our important guest. Here he comes. <laughs> brother. <laughs> Here, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, brother. Hello. I'm here for this ceremony as the new keeper of the king's kitchen. I have... I just... I'm just happy for you. Aww, brotherly love. Alright, everybody. Alright, everybody. We should start, your holiness. Oh, I'm so nervous. It'll just be a regular ceremony. No, I'm talking about my brother. Only now do I see how much I missed him. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Dear flock, we are here to pray for water for the town. Yes, and also to pray for our families. Only family can help us survive this cruel world, even the most deadly drought. So let's forget our, your old fights and forgive each other. And pray for water. Oh, yeah, sure. And pray for water or something like that. Are you praying? What a great speech! I need to go apologize to my mom! It's gonna be coming down in buckets. Aw, oh, brotherly love. <laughs> brother! <laughs> yes, brother! The two brothers. Oh, I'm definitely getting your endgame items. I'm so happy for you. No, I'm the one who's happy. I'm so happy! Look what we've achieved. Our parents would be so proud. Okay, guys, I should probably leave you alone. Thank you, thank you so much. You're truly a great help. Do you still need my mirror? Yes. Very well, take it. It's yours. You can take my fork as well. Come, we have much to discuss. 
sure, let me tell you about my journey. Mm, brother, we better discuss our future. Oh, there was a brotherly. We, we bonded two brothers to get. We brought brother back to brother. We brought father back to son, and we brought father back to daughter back to the love of her life, I suppose. Which is incredible. Which is more so than I can say about what I've achieved in my life, I suppose, so far. Anyway. Oh my god, this is great. Prayer will be a game we'll get next Sunday. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do the prayer first then, because apparently I, I needed it. Oh my god, this is great. This is it. We're going to open, uh, we're going to unlock all the threes of the portal. Oh, this is so exciting. This is super exciting. I'm going to put this marble away. I don't need this story with, I'll put my lore away. I'll put my prayer away, my papers away. Oh my god, I just need the end game items. One, two, and three, and four. Six items were required to open the portal. These are all of those things required. And we've got them all. Now, I wonder, I wonder what could possibly be keeping me from opening this portal. My thoughts are, I could leave it till next episode, but to be perfectly honest, I don't feel like waiting two weeks to experience this. I am super duper excited. I really can't wait to see what happens. It's also possible too that after the portal is when the DLC kicks in, and if that is the case, then I will do that in another playthrough. I have decided it. I have played so much Graveyard Keeper. We'll come back to it later if we want to. If I want to. I will eventually, if there's DLC that it's accessible. I mean, uh, it'll be tabled, suffice to say. All right, craft the emitter. Let's craft it. Craft the barrel. There we go. This is it. The portal. Everything is ready. But what's next? Jerry, anywhere? How do you turn the portal on? Jerry! So you're going to leave? Yes. I need to go back to my love. I'm really sad now. I'll miss you. Me too, buddy. Sad? Mm. This portal isn't just for traveling. It can make your heart's desire come true. But be careful what you say. We definitely don't need another great blast. Hi, friend. We've come to say goodbye. Anyway, it's not working. How do you? How did you know? Well, we've been banned from the town. Two brothers, one in the royal court, the other is a high cleric. That sort of thing looks suspicious to the royal court. We went to the cavern, and then Lawrence had a feeling in his stomach that you were here. But I did manage to excommunicate half the town before we left. <laughs> now the only official church is the church beside the graveyard. You can take the church and garden if you want. I don't need it. The symbols are starting to shine. Because the two folks are here, right? Yep, everybody's gathering. Dita, Harvard, is that really your names? We barely managed to escape the town. The Lord Commander used all his influence to slander us. To be honest, it wasn't hard to find something to pin on us. The town is quite a mess these days. The dead rise? Lord Inquisitor is accused of being the leader of a dark cult? It is a terrible, terrible time. Bishop has excommunicated the town. Did you hear? They were asking for it. We're going to hide in the lighthouse for a while. Maybe we'll be able to get in touch with Wagner somehow. I told you we'd be here. I see you're planning on leaving us, my friend. Yes, Monsignor. This is bad. Very bad. The curse is only gaining the momentum. We can't stop it. It may be too late. I should feel great about it, but I'm not. We're going to settle here and rebuild our old house. This place is sacred and protected us from the curse. But still, we'll be facing an amazing time. Everything will change. I'll pray for our safety. And finally, the last one. It works at last. My wish came true. I'll be with my love. Right? Crickle crackle, quickly, quickly crackly. Back home, the portal has opened. Sweethearts! Oh my god, it's Anna. My love. Anna, you came back to me! Interesting, so I didn't return home to my love. My love came to return to me. Wait a minute, is that... Wait a minute, is that it? Where's the zombie apocalypse? The invasion from the north! Traveling on a ship with merchants? Hell, the town! Nobody ever even showed us the town! I'm disappointed. 
Madeline just a bunch of creepy capitalist pigs. With all that stuff, they'll make a ton of DLCs to earn some extra money. You're right, comrade. Let's go grab a beer. A carrot martini for me. And that's it! And then they go bouncing off! And they are definitely alluding to the DLC, because there is most definitely DLC that comes after this. What a joy. Oh, what is this? I can move my mouse around? Oh, and it's the- there we go! We got the credits! That was lovely. All right. These are my closing thoughts on Graveyard Keeper so far. Closing thoughts until we return to this yet to, to again at a later date. My thoughts are this is an incredibly enticing game. I loved this. It honestly provided me like basically all the balance that I wanted. Like I liked I, I like farm simulator games. I was first turned on to farm simulation by like farm, turned on the farm simulation. I like games like Harvest Moon. I've always been into stuff like that. I loved playing Stardew Valley when I did. I will eventually do a complete playthrough of that on stream probably because I love Stardew Valley and I never actually did the full playthrough. I got like halfway through maybe but i want to go back to that but i like this i like being able to craft i love games that have crafting mechanics i love games that have dungeoneering mechanics and it seems like stardew valley kind of kicked off the whole like combining all that stuff together and it's great that's great i love that game but i also love this i think it was originally i wouldn't have played this game without a recommendation from the people in the audience i played this game at the request of our buddy dennis aka the game fist i believe is what their game what his gamer tag is now i believe it's been a hot minute, but I believe that's who recommended it to begin with. And I am so thankful that that recommendation was given to me because I was not prepared for how much fun that I was going to have with this. And it's great. I will say, I have my complaints about it a little, though. Honestly, I am not going to bother complaining about any, like, the spelling errors and stuff like that in the game. Honestly, to be perfectly honest, I think it adds to the character. I like the idea that this universe of people are actually not that good at speaking the English of like the other world or rather my world or whatever so honestly i think i rather enjoy it i don't think there's anything wrong with that however i will say it is a little confusing to be able to figure out how things do how to craft certain things where to get certain things where to go to be able to access certain blueprints and that i think could be improved upon a little bit but regardless from that i don't think it's actually necessary i think it worked just as well as it did eventually you wind up figuring things out um, except for the crematorium. Somebody had to get- somebody had to figure that out for me, and I think I may have accidentally- I, I technically spoiled the Dark Heart stuff for myself prior to finding out about that, so technically I spoiled that for myself too. But aside from that, you really didn't need anything else there. So if, like, if you're- if you have a mindset for finishing the game and you want to get to the end, it doesn't provide a very easy way for you to do so. Uh, without having to look up walkthroughs and whatnot. And really, if you're just trying to get to the end, you probably went through the walkthrough already, so it really doesn't matter to you. But it's great. It's one of those games that- I like to think of like games from like my past where you didn't have walkthroughs or anything like that and you, I didn't really look things up on the internet. You just kind of play around with it until you figure it out and one day you have a new idea, you get back into the game, you try it again and new things open up for you. It's one of those games and I like that. Honestly, I, lo I love this game and I can't, I, eventually I will play the DLC on it and I can't wait to get to it eventually. And I think the credits are now rolling in on themselves so I think I'm going to go back and That's it. We did it. I played for 408 days. And I don't think there's any playtime on that. But wow, that's great. That was Graveyard Keeper, everybody. Thank you so much. Graveyard Keeper, we are now in version 1.405. And I want to say I started like 1.3 something or other. It's crazy. And there are more, there are more like DLC and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Wait, okay. It's pulling up the DLC. Oh, I might not own it, actually. I guess I had to I get to have to get the DLC. Eventually I will. I, I forgive him. I love this game. So I definitely will. Stranger Sins, Game of Crone, Better Save Soul. I think what I'll wind up doing is when I go back through and play this game again with the DLC, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get all the DLC, activate them all, and then I guess play all of them at the same time, if that's even possible. I don't know. That's seen I don't know how that'll work, but we'll get to it, and we'll get to it eventually. But until then, that's all I've got. Thank you, everybody. This is this was good. We made some. I was gonna say we made some really great progress. Progress. Of course, we made really great progress. We beat it. We did it. We did it, everybody. Nice job. We got it to the end. Now, now we just have to look forward to the next playthrough that we will be experiencing. I will not be giving any sort of spoiler of what that is. However, I think it's gonna. It's a, it's a crowd. It's a classic game. It's a classic one. It's a crowd. Okay, I'll give a small spoiler. It's a GameCube game. I'm gonna play a full playthrough of a GameCube game. That's what I'll do next. And I won't say anything more than that.
you're just gonna have to wait until two weeks from now when we continue with it. Next week's Hollow Knight. You can look forward to that too. And cocktails. That's always fun too. And in any case, thanks everybody so much for coming along and joining me on this wackily, spookily, graveyard-keeping adventure. It was really, really fun. And I very much enjoyed it. If you guys have any more recommendations for games such as this, or things that you think would be very fun to play and whatnot, full playthrough-wise, otherwise, one-shots, that's totally fine. My DMs are always open. I'm always happy to continue a conversation. Wherever you may be, if you're on YouTube right now, you can leave comments. If you're on Twitch, you can follow and talk and chat. Or I'm on Twitter, you can DM me. I'm on Instagram, I guess you could technically DM me there too. There are many ways to get involved. Oh, and there's a Discord as well, if you're into that kind of stuff. And if you are, awesome. And if you're not, then just have a good night, if it's the night where you are. And if it's the morning where you are, have a wonderful morning. Whether you're in the dusk, the twilight, the dawn, morning, afternoon, or the evening, the party must continue wherever we are. Until next time, everybody, the party has ended for Graveyard Keeper. Peace out, then. Bye, y'all.